Nine cycles have passed. When the gods deem mortals too powerful, they decree a race between their avatar and the mortals to determine their worth. In the race, and the mortals are granted a chance to engage the very gods themselves. The mortals are granted a chance of survival. The mortals are granted a chance to become gods. Lose and see all mortal life removed from the crane, and the next cycle begins. This race is the final command of the gods to their mortal counterparts. This is their dying order. Hello everyone, welcome to Table Stories Dying Order, featuring the boys. The boys, me and Bo. Me and Bo are the only boys on the crew. Sup, Bo? Sup, sup. Already in character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening, ladies? How you doing? You ready for episode two? You prepared? Last week I kind of was freaking out and was like, I need to begin so that we can, because I got so much to tell you. And this week I'm like, nah, we can we can take five minutes here to say hello to Bo. <laughs> How you doing, Bo? I'm doing good. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing good. <laughs> How's it going? Everyone ready? You good? You yes. prepared? <laughs> this week there will be uh, much sand and much dust as we return to Dustvale, which is the desert place. That I set an entire campaign in once upon a time, like two years ago or something. So I've spent all week kind of looking at old ancient tomes that I had created many moons ago. Um, I did set a campaign here, but it was like a thousand years before this group are going to set foot. Um, so there's no like crazy links or anything like that. Don't worry. However, there will probably be people being like, oh my god, the sand is just like dust fail. So bear that in mind. Um, are you doing Katie Peters plays? Good. I drove four hours to be here on time today. Yeah. 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 Well, we want to turn into a demon. You want to, you want to pat on the back. Okay. Listen, I'll do it. Listen, if you don't show up <laughs> every dab. single week on time, I will take all of the burgers out of your house so that you're forced to eat <laughs> only the bun forever. Only the buns. And no one would ever, no one would subject you to that. No, nobody would ever do that to me. That's awful. That's no one cruel. would ever do that to you. Uh, in jokes have begun. How you doing, Pocket? <laughs> You're right over there. Ironically, you look more like you want to die this week because you're all like wrapped up like you're sick. And last week you were actually sick. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. you're muted. No, no, no. Don't tell. <sighs> no, I have to tell oh, her. Come on, man. I could have got time. It's terrible. Damn it. Listen. Okay, every day, every time I'm muted, huh? Yeah. Um, no, I, I'm trying to look like a rogue. I don't have rogue attire, and I can't find my leather jacket and gloves because um, I moved recently, and they're still packed somewhere. So yay! I moved I quite a long time ready. ago, and I also only have access to about fifty percent of my clothing, and that's why I'm wearing this meme shirt with my actual dog's face on it. It's perfect. <laughs> so uh, cute. It's the only thing I can find to wear today. I'm not even kidding. I mean, it's cute. <laughs> I went outside in this and Emma was like, wait, I've just seen what you're wearing. You Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> we were just going, like, all we did was take the dog to like the end of the street for like a five minute walk around just to stretch his legs or whatever. And she's like, I will not be seen in public with you this way. And she left. She just went back. Never came with me. Um, I haven't seen her since. Like, like she didn't go to the house. She just got in a car and drove away. And I will probably never see her again. If I'm lucky, am I right, boys? All right, okay. Um, I have to curb all my inherent sexism for this show. This is just me and Bo. Bo, the <laughs> actual womanizing character. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be. Uh, I think I'll be all right. Isn't that right, Bo? Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like it's like going to Bo for commentary every time. Bo, Bo, Bo. All right. Well. Um. Let's get on with episode two, shall we? I have tentatively titled this Dust Veil, <laughs> which is weird. And it's going to be very strange when people Google it 
and they try and find the actual series and they get this one with you lot in it. Um, a quick sort of uh, previously, but there's quite a lot that happened last week and most of it honestly was um, was was covered in the little intro that we have now. The brand new Eons Ago provided by one era dear. Um, essentially these four characters were plucked from their everyday lives. Um, we had Aura who was just asleep, <laughs> just chilling. And then she ended up in a fight with a celestial being flying into the space. Um, we had uh, Suna who was totally prepared for this for some reason. And like already on the journey, um, who climbed a big tower. Um, then we had Bo who was pickpocketing some noblemen when the bridge exploded around him and he fell into the water and he couldn't swim. So then he drowned. Um, and then we had an assassin who was on a job who pulled the job off successfully um, with flair with one of, I think, about 47 crits last week. Um, and then uh, and then was chased through the city by ash. Just ash. Giant waves of ash. And uh, was eventually consumed by them. The four of you ended up in this strange kind of odd, weird mirror world room with um, a sort of a thing that claims and seems to be some sort of divine avatar um, that said that basically you are in a race now. You've been chosen. You are the four randomly selected humans by the TSA who are going to be in a race with um, with their the gods' creation, this avatar of the gods called symbol which ended up being this kind of um smoky shadowy figure this this masculine but very plain doll like figure with all of these tendrils of smoke um you was you were given a couple of little tests um you were also given some individual items and told to bring the items to the um various gates of power that are around the world you were told where these gates were kind of what they represent and then asked to go to one of them pick one and go to it you all chose the gate of time which is in Dustvale, which is a huge desert continent um and uh, then you ended up having a little barney a bit of barney rubble barney rubble is trouble with symbol you had a little fight with him you kind of messed him up to be honest the uh you took a little damage um 46 more crits later on it was dead half of its head missing um and the four of you located thanks to aura a god portal which is uh basically just a teleportation device thing that's going to allow you to quick travel you got a fast travel in this game and uh you all stepped in and that's where we begin today's session as we return once again to the um the desert well i return once again to the desert no one else here has been to the desert i'm sure some of the old school viewers will remember the deserts of dust vale as uh, as we begin so just to give you guys an idea of what happens each of you steps into this kind of strange portal thing um from your perspective it i said it felt like stepping into kind of very thick relatively warm kind of liquid um and then there's a sensation a strange sensation of kind of being pulled into the portal itself um and i think individually although you went through um one after the other in in general each of you steps out at the same place once you um, go into it, probably you get a sensation of your stomach dropping a little bit, kind of like when you drive over a little hump in a car or that little dip and you get that quick, not huge sensation of like, um, but just a very quick, um, strange sensation as you're pulled into this thing. Maybe you blink and then a, a second later, you're falling a little bit, maybe a few inches onto this endless stretch of sand um and i think probably one of the first things that hits you as you stumble out into this kind of open stretch of sand is the heat there's a um and 
probably instantly unbearable heat that hits you. An overwhelming, thick, dry heat. There's a boiling sun which is sitting quite low in the sky, but in the sense that it's morning, not that it's going sun setting. The sun is barely rising. Um, and it's already unbelievably hot. And you look around you and you're surrounded by sand, plains. Um, there are huge sand dunes in the distance. Um, and there are some sort of red mesas in that sort of Grand Canyon-esque way. Also, the wind is relatively strong, oddly enough. The, um, the heat, it doesn't do anything other than blow more heat and sand towards you into your face. It may be swells some sand every now and then in the distance and maybe buffets your clothes a little bit but it's still relatively strong wind not unbearably overpowering you're not falling over um and you find yourselves in the great desert the scorching red as some people call it the home of the sand walkers and the god king welcome to dust vale and you step out here look around you there is just you as far as you can see from your instance um there isn't like a city there isn't a village there isn't a very big temple or anything it's just kind of desert all around you and then one by one well actually Bo and Zuna you came through together but one by one relatively quickly each of you appears here aura you do sense this god portal um closing behind you but you don't see anything um, you guys step out and then just from thin air, all four of you appear. There isn't like a strange glowing circle or anything like that. Um, but you do sense that it remains almost like a, a thing that you would need to access one way or another. You would reach out and open the portal again. Here would be where it is. But I would say if you're initially looking, you don't see anything. Um, but just to give you a, an idea that that thing is still here, the the god portal what do you guys do i'm starting to think this was a really bad idea asuna this is your home right do you know where to go do i actually know where we are you can give me a survival check yes A 13. Um, I think you can make out that um, it's pretty early in the day. Um, you can make out that you are for sure in Dustvale. Um, and you generally have a good sense of direction. You can probably make out northeast, southwest. But even living here is not going to help you with just the confusing open expanse of sand. Um, you'd have to roll unbelievably high to pinpoint it. From what you can tell, you could be anywhere in Dustvale, but you're probably in Dustvale at least. Um, but I don't think you know just outright where you are, no. Okay, and uh, about how much of the day do we have left? Um, It's probably around... Um, seven or eight in the morning. Very early. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we have a full day ahead of us, but other than that, I, I don't really know where we are. I've never been here before. But this is your home. Well, I mean, y yes, the entire continent is my home, but not this specific place, no. I'm just going to look around. Do I see anything on the horizon that might look like a building or people? Uh, give me a perception check. See what you see. An 18. Can, can we all do that? Yeah, can everyone I? can give me perception Got checks it. if you want to take a moment here as you step through and everyone's kind of shielding their eyes from the sun. Um, the heat already starting to uh, overwhelm you a little probably. Um, you start to look around, see what you can see. Um, you can run me perception checks if you'd like. It's under skills. And it's to see with your eyes. Do you want to do it, Bo? Can 
Can I adjust one thing on your sheet, PB? Yeah. A query advantage for new players oh, or new people watching there are numbers coming up on the screen and those are dice rolls everyone is essentially rolling a 20-sided die and some people have bonuses to their skills there's a little thing you see next to perception on uh sooner it says three in brackets uh down near there and that is that she has a plus three so she can roll i rolled a nine then so for you pb that would be a 12 um and when you see two sometimes you can roll with advantage or disadvantage and you take the higher of the two rolls so it doesn't mean anything necessarily it's just two different rolls in one thing um all right perception rolls aura 18 ellie 13 sooner 13 disby arix is here somehow uh, I'll, I'll help you. Don't know who that is. Uh, the, uh -huh. the little gear box up in the top right. You can change your display name to be your character name. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. I just uh, will will Brad's read the thing that I no. I just will read it out. Then I was like, yeah. oh wait, that's not the character name. Um. So <laughs> the four of you start looking around. Um. I think what you see is maybe relatively similar to what we have in the image here. And if you're listening, it's uh just huge expanse of plains but you're quite close to a pretty tall mesa um with sort of sand pouring off of it in like weird sand mini waterfalls um and then just some rocky outcroppings that just sit in the middle of a very open looking desert um looking around you you um for the most part i think um uh who got the 13 sooner and, and ellie this just looks like a terrifyingly this looks like copy paste sand everywhere. It looks like someone's just copied and pasted sand. Control C, Control V all around you. The idea of like where you should go is very, um, very horrible to try and discern. I would say I'm probably more distracted by the fact that it's really heckin' hot here. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> cripplingly hot. You've been teleported into the middle of a desert. Yeah. Um, just so you all know, this is north. And then directly behind us is south. While she's pointing out north and south, Aura, I think you, um, you don't see, um, anything, uh, but you do hear something. Um, you hear, like, a very distant cry of, like, what might be a giant eagle, something like that. You get this kind of sensation that there's, like, a you, you can pick up on a, the loud cry of something that's carried along the wind um, very far to your west. Um, but you don't see anything like a building or anything like that. And I think, Bo, you wander off maybe a little bit, take a few steps forward, um, maybe head out a little bit uh, around the mesa. Um, for some reason, do you have sunglasses on in the game? Do you I think? do. Uh-huh. Yeah? Always got a pair. All mm. right. I'll allow it. You can have sunglasses. Um, maybe because of the sunglasses, the insane bright sunshine is not really quite messing up your eyes too badly. Um, and you can see what looks like kind of maybe um old train tracks um they're quite far north of your point but they're moving uh east to west west to east um and you see just kind of you see like this line and it doesn't it it doesn't look like much at first um but then your eyes adjust and you can see that there's this strange kind of line that's kind of pushing across the desert that doesn't look natural um focusing a little longer you can make out that probably that's actually train tracks train tracks are a little weird the arcani rail is uh it it does use the tracks um and uh but it doesn't use them in the sense that the wheels are on there anymore um it's kind of like a strange monorail where it has a central um magical core that lifts the train only maybe a foot off of the ground um, but it still follows these kind of arcane rails. Um, so the bottom structure, 
the rails is, is kind of wooden and then the uh the actual rails themselves is more it's more like a monorail is a single strip of um arcanely charged metal i don't know if any of you know anything about the trains which is why i'm just gonna give you yeah look that's made i don't know how i like half of like how my computer works kind of thing so i don't know if you guys know how the arcane arcane rail works but um you know in general it's kind of like a somewhat levitating monorail is a good way to put it but it still uses like a set of tracks um and they and the principle behind the single um I have strip a of metal question. is the same yeah what, what i know i mean i just the first episode i assassinated someone while hiding on a, a monorail so would i know a little bit at least you can you can roll me an intelligence check um or a history check or an arcane or a uh, check if you want to uh, arcana check if you want to check what you how know you, how do you just roll it? oh never mind uh int is just uh yeah you just roll the word intelligence oh, did i roll save i shouldn't have rolled save uh are you proficient because you can just remove yeah um <sighs> Um, let's see. So you remove your proficiency from it, which is two. Yeah, so that would just be a 17. So 17, yeah, I think you do know how it works. Um, to a degree. I don't think you could build it, but I think you've you've learned, you've oh. understood that the um, the old trains were the exact same as, that, as our steam trains, coal trains. They worked on coal. They had wheels that went along two rails. They pulled those rails up, used the same kind of principle, um, and they charge magically the single rail, the mono rail that runs along um, the rail tracks. Um, they have all sorts of funky stuff going on. The wizards that made this have um, part technology, part magic. So they've charged things like um, runes, stones, um, and then small mechanical devices that allow the train to levitate along the single rail when it's moving along there's a, a, a kind of connection a glow of arcane energy between the rail and the underside of the train which gives it this weird kind of um solid look it looks like it's part of the rail because the glow is so bright and solid um it can be different colors but for the most part that they're just kind of white or yellow um and so when it moves along the rail, you see that the rail lights up and all of these strange energies and, and symbols along the single monorail um, light up. And the bottom part of the train um, essentially connects to the single monorail with magic. And it, it just becomes pretty much like a futuristic looking monorail to us. Um, a very kind of me, punch. the way you described it kind of a little bit reminds me of Black Panther. It's like Did that. Ever... Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is like that. Um, except. Except probably, a little different. <laughs> probably, probably a little more steampunk style. Um, yeah. Than okay. super sci-fi futuristic. Uh, the trains look really old school Western still. Um, a bit like, uh, but back to the future three when he's in that flying fucking train and it flies around or whatever they look like that um but the underside of it has all of these strange m mechanisms that lock into place and then send out these charged arcane energies that kind of let it float levitate um a bit like the levitation spell but a little different so that's kind of how the rail works you can see a train, uh, but it still uses train tracks, um, Bo. You can see, if nothing else, there's some man-made something over there. Whether it's the uh, the train tracks that used to be used here, or whether it's the new train tracks, because you used to have old trains, now there's new trains that had new rails put in and stuff like that. Um, you're not too sure. But yeah, that's probably, I think, the only thing you can see here. Curious. Hey, ladies, there's something over here. It looks like it stretches out pretty far, too. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Maybe I have, just it wasn't a very long time. Where is it? I don't see it. It's just over here. Oh, I guess Oh, the help sounds of my voice. Right yeah, no, I kind of strayed off a little bit. Hmm. Oh, it's the train. 
And Brad, you said it goes east to west, right? Yeah, it's it's north of where you are, but the train tracks go east to west. So is that the train that goes through the main city in the mount in the middle of the mountain range or in the middle of the continent? Well, everyone now has access to the Dustvale map. Um, <clears throat> realistically, your characters don't, but I don't see why you guys wouldn't have at least at some point seen a map of the world. Um, in the same way that you kind of know the rough shape of Japan, you probably each somewhat understand what the world looks like. Um, this is what the map looks like. Suna, I think you know this pretty well, regardless of what you've seen and traveled here. Um, I think, have you said you, you traveled everywhere? Or did you say you traveled mostly up the up a single yes, coast? Yes, gone all the way around, but our main stretch was from Clear Clear Peaks down to Twinport. Right. But we would sometimes stop in in Crimson, so. Yeah. So there are a few points here where the, where the tracks go um, east to west. I think. But I don't think you know at all. Specifics. Okay. It would be really, really hard. Like, Dasvel isn't ginormous, ginormous, but it's definitely big enough for you to not remember every grain of sand and know. Oh, yeah. Know, and exactly I also forgot my... Yeah, I forgot a lot about this place, so... And you needed to roll a lot higher as well on your previous roll. So I still think you're not too sure. Um, but you can, you know, you, you still can... I can't tell if they're being used right now but if it's going east to west we could follow the tracks there's a chance we might find other travelers and we might find a place to to hop on board I just nod my head while she's talking in agreement how do we feel about that good I yes. start walking I think that's a great idea, Suna. Well, thanks. I'm all for it. Okay. So, all of you start heading towards these train tracks. I think um, it might be a little deceiving how close they are, but it it it's still close enough that it, it's not like an insane roll or anything yet. You head north. Um, I assume you're not pelting it or running or anything. You're just kind of strolling across the sands. Um, <clears throat> the sand isn't too thick. It isn't necessarily like you're kind of um, uh, on deep sands in this area. I think you get the sensation that um, it's more like rock covered in a, a light layer of sand. You can see that there are areas around you where there is thick sand dunes that build up, but you can also see that there are flat kind of plains of this like mesa, rocky, red rock um, area. You might also um, notice that there are like canyons and that kind of thing that, that stretch out in the distance. And you probably walk for about 15 minutes before you get to these train tracks. Um, very quickly as you approach, you can see that Although the sand covers these train tracks in a lot of places, like completely covers them at points, um, it does have a single um, rail. So it's very likely that this is a an in-use rail road or an arcane rail. Um, but it does look, you know, very covered. Like a train has not been passed recently. Well, it looks like it might be in use, but there shouldn't be as much sand, I should think. Mm. Which way should we go? Well, either way, we can... I mean, it's about it's about the same distance east or west usually, so we can just follow the tracks whichever way you want to go. Should we um, just pick? Why don't no, we go left? Sure. I mean, I think we should probably follow our uh, our friend over there who's just walking by herself. Which way? I'm walking left. <laughs> left being and kind of we're going to the left. west. Um, yeah, you guys start heading heading west, and I think also Ellie, you're aware that. The arcane rail probably clears the sand as it moves along. 
Um, so maybe more so than the others, you're aware that a train has not been passed for a decent amount of time. But you can also see the wind here is blowing sand like crazy. The, it's a miracle that the, the entire thing isn't covered. So it's, you're probably a little unsure as to how long it's been since there's been a train that come past. But probably a while. Um, all right. So we get to do some fun things now. You're already in long distance travel. Um... Essentially, you start heading out. Um, the day is already so hot and it continues to heat up as it heads towards midday. Um, I don't know if any of you have anything to counter this. Some, some creatures and some classes have things or spells or, or whatever. Um, but if you do... Let me know now. Are you doing anything to deal with the heat? Because I think it would be very instant. Like, you're all immediately just sweating and awful and... I have resistance to fire damage. Would that apply to heat? No, I'm afraid not. It doesn't really help you with just normal sunstroke and stuff like that, I don't think. It's literal... Okay. I think it's literal fire. It just burns you a little bit less badly. <laughs> it's worth um, a shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you probably, it probably takes you a little longer to get a tan, but that's about it. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think anyone has anything crazy, but some of you might have spells. I don't pour over your character sheets. I don't remember anything on anyone's character sheets, so get used to it. I'm just going to be like, what is your name? I don't know. So I think probably immediately then you start, you start heading out and you can, you can tell that the the heat of the day is going to become an issue. I think sooner you're probably extremely well versed, even though you don't have necessarily all of your memories and things. I think you're very aware that that, um, that sunstroke is deadly. Um, heat stroke is going to mess you guys up um, so pretty quickly. Probably midday we should, if we can, find shade and rest. Yeah, I think, will you okay. guys would travel somewhat undercover, I think, most of the days yeah. and things like that. Um, but if you do have to walk, people, a lot of the sand walkers here wrap themselves in wraps and things like that. Um, you make sure you're extremely hydrated. And a lot of people don't travel even by day. Um, okay. A lot of people just travel, you know, in the early morning or at sunset or even by night when it gets really cold. Um, the sucky thing about the desert is that during the day you have to worry about a heat stroke and at night you have to worry about hypothermia. Um, walking along the train tracks gives you a good sense of direction, at least. Um, you know that you would very easily become lost in the open desert here, um, but having the train tracks helps you at least stay on course for something. Eventually, if you can survive, you're going to hit a village or a town or somewhere where the train stops. Um, and the wildlife is dangerous. Pretty much entirely. There's almost nothing in this desert that doesn't want to kill and eat you. Um, in fact, sooner roll me a uh, survival check. Because I think you know all this stuff, but I also think your memory will depend on this roll. There we go. It's all coming back to you now that you're back. Stop yeah, back. everything wants to kill Stop you here. Back to me now. It's very, it, everything is very dangerous. Um, there are just barbaric nomadic tribes that knock about and they'll just find people um, that are wandering out in the desert without a sandwalk or without um, anybody to defend them or within, if they're lost, um, they'll take you out. There are lizard folk that just live out here. There are kobolds that come up from underground and just kidnap you and steal all your stuff. Um, and then there is just animals. Spiders, scorpions, creatures. Awful things. Um, so snakes. I'm probably rambling at this point as we're walking. I think probably, I'm telling you guys yeah. all of this. I'm like, oh, and you got to look out for these. And these <laughs> the, will, the snakes, spiders will just like come up out of the snake and they'll bite you. And scorpions. You to, yeah. And, yeah. Um, it's definitely far from that sort of lush green that you're used to, Aura, but no less necessarily dangerous in parts, just different. Um, city folk among you are probably more worried about the uh, 
the bandits day to day, to day than the creatures that are going to come and get you. Um, but I think first the, the extreme heat starts to get to each of you. Um, How's everybody doing? Do you want to do you want to stop and rest for now? Well, as soon as ta like talking about all the dangerous yeah. creatures, I'd probably look up and you know how I heard a bird before or something. Do I see a bird flying around that's maybe circling somewhere or looking for? I'm looking to see if there's birds that are, are circling around what might be water. Right. Um, first of all, give me a history check. Okay. There is no water here. Nowhere. It's, it's like a pretty famous thing that there is no okay. water here anywhere. Like nothing green grows apart from in one small area where like the greatest, and I think you know this, botanists and farmers that Dustfell has to offer live. They live in Oat Roost, which is in the northwest. It's the only farming land that can be tilled. Everywhere else sucks. There's not even a single oasis. Um, okay. Even if you kind of lose your mind, you don't see an oasis. It's that dry. It's awful. Um, the only water is the water on the outside or the water which is which is made. Dustvale has this very strange policy where a lot of clerics here aren't just religious folk. Some people just become clerics or they take a job as something known as a water maker because every village and town and stuff don't have they don't have wells and stuff they just have people that make water all day with a spell and just constantly do, do that do i know that in dustvale you can't dig for water too you can find cacti okay there there, there are long-stemmed cacti which is kind of the only thing that has any sort of water or nutrients in it they're really hard to find. Um, so I'm probably like describing these cacti. Like, if you see anything poking out of the ground, like just, you know, scream and let us all know because that's very important. There are also little cacti, which you can get chazzy from, which is a class A drug in Lacrin. Okay. And this is where it comes from. So you can mess it up real bad. And yeah. basically you're like, oh, let's have a little drink of water. Thank God we found water. Oops, it was cocaine. And then you're <laughs> in a whole other situation, but they're very different looking cacti. So okay. let's do some travel tasks, because essentially what you guys are asking me to do here is uh, what I was going to ask you to do anyway. So long distance traveling across um, Dustvale is going to require some travel tasks. Navigation, scouting, foraging are the main three here. Navigation requires a survival check. Um, it's essentially to ensure that you keep going the right way or if you're out in the complete plains you don't get lost you can just go round in circles I am secretly keeping track of where you are on a secret map right now and you can go round and round and round and round in circles if you screw it up that being said you have a set of tracks so unless something goes absolutely heinously wrong you really don't need to do the navigation you just need to follow the tracks which leaves scouting and foraging Navigation would usually be a survival check. Scouting will be a perception check. Foraging is how you'll find water, um, which is also a survival check. And then at the end of those checks, each of you is going to make me a constitution saving throw to see if you've been hit by heat stroke during the time. Um, so, who wants to do what? Just to remind you again, navigation is... To check you're going in the right direction i will say you don't really need to do that right now um scouting is what you were asking for me uh with the with the bird um if you don't scout for enemies they have the chance to jump you they have the chance to get a surprise attack on you if you don't see them or you fail um what is scouting or what yeah what 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 is that check that'll be perception oh okay and foraging is extremely hard to do. Um, the DC for finding water is 20. So you have to get higher than a 20 on the roll. Um, and that's a survival check. You guys, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, each have one water skin on you, which will be gone by the end of the day. Um, 
So, I think it really comes down to who wants to scout, who wants to forage. Unless you want to do anything special. Now, you can be like, I want to do this really specific thing. Um, and this is kind of long term. This will be like an hour. This can be an hour to like 12 hours, depending on what happens, what you roll. And I'd like probably a... want to scout. Okay, one scout. Don't roll it yet. Okay. Yeah, I mean, since I'm a ranger, I'd probably scout. Okay. But if she's going to do that, I guess I can do... I mean, we both can do it. We're both good yeah. at combat. It's, yeah. So each of... All four of you can do all the same thing, or you can oh, do okay. individual things, or or okay. two of you can double up where you think maybe, you know, this is more important than this, so two of us should do that, sure. or something like that. And what we was should probably uh, double up in foraging, though, to try to find water at this point, since we don't need a navigator. It's, you know, we should... The three of us should be looking for food and water and things like that and then I'm back and then you yeah you keep your eyes out for anything that's gonna hop out and grab at us oh and i've started like undoing stuff where it's like man i'm used to hot but this is like yeah well this... you're better off taking off all the other stuff but leave your head covered you know i'll probably start helping forage then just because i mean that's what i used to do back home okay one forage one scout uh, also forage Two forage, one scout. Bo? Uh, what was navigation again? I'm sorry. Navigation, navigation is, a, is, is survival, but survival. we're following tracks. So it's, we don't yeah. technically need that at the moment. Just it's mostly to keep you on it's mostly to keep you on track. Um if yeah. you weren't following the train Fine. tracks, then um it would be a uh, navigation check. First of all, to just ensure that you continued going west and weren't going around in circles. Secondly, also kind of just not to fall in a hole and <laughs> stuff like that. Like if you oh, rolled yeah. a one you could just wander into a, a, a huge trench, like a gorge. Um, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll I can through. navigate if we need to do that. If we need to do a check, I can navigate. But we should definitely have the rest trying to find water, aside from one. Oh, so, yeah. Assuming you know, you're I'll, following I'll, the track, I'll, I'll you, don't, you won't need to navigate. I won't make okay. you fall into then a trench. Okay, then I will, I will uh, forage then. Uh, or Aura it was, right? Can, can you sense where we're supposed to be going? Is this the right way? Well, I... Brad, do I... Because that just closed behind us. Isn't that the only gate? I'm assuming that's the only gate here. Well, um... Your detect portal ability is... I just kind of gave you the benefit of the doubt as a passive thing because you were right next to it. But mm -hmm. technically, um... You can do this once every long rest. Um, you can use it. Essentially, you sense the presence of a god portal, um, the distance and direction to the closest one. You know that it's pretty close, so there's a good chance it's going to ping you there, but also you've never done this before. Um, if you use this again, you can't... You, oh, no, it's actually, it's a short rest. Sorry. Um, you can't use it again until you finish a short rest, so you guys would have to sit down for at least an hour before you could uh, recharge that. So if you do Which... want to use it, then you you have to actively, I don't know how you want to do this, but you've got to kind of, uh, and then it, it'll take you a moment. You have to sort of actively use it. Um, you're not always kind of, you don't have like a passive sonar always going okay. on. Um, but yeah, you're pretty aware that there is one there where you just came from. And the odds that there's one now closer to you and you've been walking for, you know, 20 minutes, pretty unlikely, but yeah. you could try. Okay. I feel like I, I have to channel it. Oh, okay, okay. That that makes sense. I thought it was maybe like a, you know, perpetual compass inside your soul or something where you just know where to go. Oh, I mean, I could try if you would like. Oh, well, I, I mean, that's... Will it just point us back in the direction in which we came? Do you Did need I... to... Well, then perhaps... I don't know. Why don't we walk a little further and then maybe try? That's that sounds good. We need to break at midday anyway, when yeah. when the sun is at its highest. We'll rest. Good idea. We need to find some supplies too. I'm gonna pull yeah, out. Keep an eye out for that for that that cacti I was telling you about. It's pretty rare, but you never know. The wind could go by at just the right moment, and then you can see it peeking its little head out of the sand. I'm gonna pull my water skin out. Yeah as soon as telling the story and can I check on my four leaf clover? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it looks fine right now, but the very worst possible place 
to try and keep a living four-leaf clover that probably needs dirt and water minimum is here in dust fail um yeah i think uh i mean it's not just sitting there and withering immediately though uh, it looks super healthy as if it's just been magically created but you know that it is alive now and it's just sitting there it's little roots at the bottom yeah even though it's not like wilting or anything, can I just dip its roots into my water skin just to like give it a little drink? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to be over there like work. dipping They it. just actively yeah. drink a little bit. Yeah, they take a little sip. In the yeah. So I'm like probably whispering to it like, just have a little drink. And I'll dip it in and then I'll just tuck it back away and close my water skin and put it put it back. Is she talking to the plant? Am I saying no, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about cacti. You know, you just got to keep it, keep your eyes out because mm. at any second you could see it peeking over there. Like, see that? Oh, no, no, never mind. That wasn't what I thought it was. Just some more sand. But it happens quickly, just like that. You might see it and then it's gone. I have a big place like this. Can I try and find some of this cacti? Yeah, you can on a forage. So, um,. Let's see. Everyone kind of decided it was going to be forage, 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 perception um, from Ellie. Is that right? That okay. is correct. So, um, Ellie, give me a perception check and everyone else give me survival checks and I will tell you what happened. Oh, God. <laughs> I want a mulligan. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> If you could shout out your roles to me when you get them sometimes, I got an eight. Useful. And also, some people are listening on MP3s and audio. Hello, podcast listeners. Podcast types like to hear the number you roll sometimes. Um, I'm terrible for it, and I apologize right here at the beginning of the campaign, podcast listeners. Um, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Everyone has a lovely voice but me. So hopefully, I won't speak too much, and that should ease your pain. So. Ease his pain. <laughs> Uh, so, let's see the, uh, well, the perception was a nine, so I'll come to that last. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Listen, it's really hot, okay? Yeah, yeah you really <laughs> operate much better in a city, apparently. Remember um, when I said we should go to Mistvale? This is probably, <laughs> the, the, no, this is probably it. Oh, no. Um, all right. Um, foragers um got a 17 a 16 am i missing one who's who's not done one i, I oh, was you an, did eight. A, an eight yes. that's terrible so I'm as too well i'm busy talking about cacti to notice any cacti <laughs> yeah amazingly all four of you fail um oh! all four of you fail your checks the checks suck here remember when i said this one sucks this place you've picked one of the hardest things in general it was everything just add stars to the world map next time so we know the difficulty before we go there thought about it a lot i thought about it a lot i was like should i have added some like you know difficulty stars like you get in games and i was like you know what games are too easy now aren't they <laughs> games are too easy nowadays so it's, no it's actually like a final fantasy game where you're able to go wherever you wander into yeah. this and you it's just final get wrecked. it's, it's final fantasy like, x2 shouldn't have gone here it's just all side quests all right shit. so <laughs> foragers um water is difficult but possible to find however um you don't find any um sooner <laughs> i hate to tell you this but you do find something oh god you do find a um uh a very round cacti um it's like the size of a basketball um, oh, and there look. are there are two or three of them um in the area and they look kind of like a watermelon with spines on it um maybe the size of a basketball two or three of them as maybe a smaller one making up the third one two big looking cacti as you move along and i'd say you probably you've probably been walking for about half an hour all of you the heat starting to really just start to mess with you plus you start to walk um and there he is the, the well there they are these little cacti big cacti really look see that's a perfect example my eyes aren't too old anyway do i recognize it from the books that i've read <laughs> give me a nature the, check the botany things i did Let's as a see child what you know botanist 16. 16. um 
Hmm, you know what, actually, because of the DC, I'll allow it. Uh, you do recognize it to a degree. Um, I don't think you know, like, what it's called or anything like that. Um, but it is a, uh, it is a, a cacti. What, what I will say is this. One thing you know is that you should avoid any cacti that have, like, milky sap, which is something I never want to have to say again. And... <laughs> Um, and, uh, if it has, like, a bitter or a soapy taste, you shouldn't drink heavily from those. Um, so I think probably as you approach these cacti, I'll give you that information instead. Not that you know what this cactus is, but when you open it up, whether you should drink the milky sap from the cacti. Does it look like it's oozing milky sap? You'd have to poke it, I would imagine. I will shut this stream down. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it doesn't know. It, it, you, you'd need to cut it open and look. Can I take one of my arrows out and poke it? No, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to remember if this is a good one or a bad one. And I don't, I don't think you should just immediately start eating it yet. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. I'm going to check to make sure it might, if it oozes a, a milky sap, uh, well, no, not, we can't eat it. Oh. Yes, I think that's right. I can't remember, actually. That's you're probably right. That sounds yeah. right. Let's just poke it and see. All right. I've never seen one in person. I'm like excitedly like trying to not smile and be a weirdo, but I'm like poking it with my arrow to see what comes out. Yeah. yeah. What comes out is milky sap. Oh. Now, now that's okay. That's okay because I I have some uh, empty vials in my bag. Which Aura, would you go? Would you go grab some over there? Just be careful not to grab the flea bag. The, f the what? The f it's a little tiny bag of fleas. You don't okay. want to grab that. What does this other bag look like? And I'll start rummaging through her stuff. Well, uh, the flea bag's really tiny and it's got a little bit of red patch on it. So just the other one will have the empty vials in it. And we can just collect this and sell it later. Okay. This one? And yeah, I walk over with oh, her little yeah, bag. That's, that's, that's it. That's perfect. Okay. Great. Okay. Now let's go ahead and scrape this in here. Let's bottle it up. We I'll use my arrow it. to like kind of scoop the milky liquid into the vials yeah sure that works because i've never it looks like seen chunky a milk it does look like chunky milk i think this is what they call shit i you know what i honestly can't remember but it's uh it it's definitely it's drugs oh and we'll buy it i have a moment where i want to like like my finger kind of reaches for it and then it goes no no i shouldn't do that here Well, I mean, you you can try it if you want. No, I don't. Th I look I, I look around and just see all this empty, vast, empty dust space, and go. Mm, maybe maybe another time. I've never tried anything like it. You're pretty curious, aren't you? Well, look at it. It's like a ball with spikes coming out of it. I mean, I'll try it. <laughs> That's when I walk up and I grab it and I like stash it in one of my pouches. But wait, <laughs> me, that's my vial now. What? I wanted to try it. Uh, no one's no. We're in the middle of the desert. Let's just not. Let's just not try anything, okay? But it's so hot. Water. It's a nice. Well, okay, but it's not gonna make you feel less hot. It's not water. It's not gonna make you feel better. It's gonna take you to another planet. You know, you know what I'm saying? So it's a portal. No. Maybe in your mind, but not an actual well, portal. How is that going to help us, like, right in this moment? Well, I, I the wasn't last thing we need is for this guy. Us. I was and just I... offering because she's never had it before, and we're we're pretty safe group. I'm just, I, you if know, I, she, if, I recall, if I recall, if I recall, if if I recall, someone poked the giant shadow creature, and then I got smacked like just right in the chest yeah that that, so that let's just not put her let's just not put ourselves in danger for a little bit let's just get to a town before we start letting this guy start tripping i mean he's already kind of tripping so let's see where it goes what all right fair enough and mm. with that ellie can you roll me a d20 no <laughs> 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 I got a six. Okay. Don't, don't make that noise. Do uh, not. 
Oh, he uh, does that all the time. Get ready to fucking want to kill him. I got distracted by the drugs, okay? That's my perception right there. Yeah, that's my excuse for about five years of my life as well. But here we are. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's get another D20, please. No, 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 no. One. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh, no. All right. Um, is this party wipe? You say that every time. Let's except see. for the time that you poke the creature. I mean, I'll be honest. This is basically about as bad as it gets. Um, <laughs> Ooh, guardian? For episode oh, nice. two. So, you guys... We should uh, have more people doing perception. Do you guys continue um, uh, heading out at this point? Or is this... When you're gonna rest? When did you say you're gonna rest? Like midday? You've only been the hottest, time. where the sun is the highest. Yeah. And then, do you do you do you kind of take? You don't take anything other than the one vial of this stuff. I would actually just fill up a whole. Like I have a whole little set. I don't know how many come in a set, but maybe like I would fill it up because I know that people will buy it and it'll get us money and maybe a place to stay when we find somebody. You have somebody a set of vials. I do. It's what? like. Uh, uh, vi vials because I have I have a components bag I have a set of vials and some herbalism kit which I assume is where the vials come from uh do you know how many spiders you get spiders you get spiders sorry I was typing vials? spiders in because there are spiders underneath you but okay. we'll get to that in a minute do you want me to just roll like a 1d4 or something or vials yeah roll me a yeah. d4 okay makes it easy while you're looking down, the sand shifts Three. from underneath you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it spiders? Oh, <laughs> do you know what's so weird to me is that they hit these things in the other thing and they really are just awful. I will tell you this. In fact, everyone roll me a nature check. Yay. Everyone roll me a nature check. I'm terrible. That is a oh. nat 20 for Suna. Nice, and I got 19. All right. 11 for Aura. Okay. 16! For uh, both. Okay. So. I you... go into stealth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can't. There's nowhere. Anyway. Yeah. Also, you the thing that you rolled for was like being surprised. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. So, I'm going to bring you over to um, this map which is our first really official battle map because the other one was not the thing. Um, so uh, let's drag you guys onto this map and I'm just going to throw you on. Um, you can put yourselves kind of where you think you might be. Imagine some train tracks are running along the center of this from left to right, but um, I wasn't sure if you would find them. You each... Um, are moving along. I think, um, I think sooner you look down at these, these vials and then you are suddenly reminded of something that Dustvale is relatively famed for. The people that get lost in the desert forget to look, to forget that the, the sand can bury things. And as you're looking down, the sand shifts and this huge, thick, spider leg <laughs> reveals itself as it comes up. As you guys move along, basically all four of you walk along the back of a giant sand spider. Um, oh. And it's really big. Everyone roll me initiative, but I'll tell you this. It's got a surprise round on you. And uh, that's is... not possible for me. It's not. Oh. Nope. I rolled a 16. I got an eight. Oh, God. It's a sand crawler. It's a sand crawler. It's a giant sand spider. Um, this is really hard to kill. Um, you would probably be aware sooner. Um, who was it? Uh, yeah. This thing, I'm so underprepared for you to hit it because I really did. It's such a low chance of <laughs> getting this thing. 
This thing appears now. The sand shifting off of its back, these horrible spines and hairs, and then this just huge kind of orange and brown bulbous body shifts underneath you, Ellie, as you maybe bounce backwards, and this thing just comes up, and it moves quick. Um, it's not like rising up menacingly. It just... And it's up. Sand is pouring off of the back of it, and you're all immediately split um, as this thing is around you. And remember when you roll initiative to uh, click your character's uh, token, Sorry. and then it will put you on the turn order. You should be able to click on the zero next to your name and then type in the number you got. I'm going to roll for this guy. Oof. Um, so that is... Damn, son. And, all right. So it doesn't get a surprise round on you sooner. Why? Uh, the alert feet. You can't be surprised while you are conscious. Ooh, nice. Um, but it does still go first, but it does get a surprise on the rest of you. Surprise round. And I know that <laughs> two of you are brand new to D&D and have done one combat so far. But a surprise round basically means that it gets like a free round and then you move into turn order somewhat. But it's a bit like a status in the sense that you are surprised, like the condition is a way to think of it. Um, so you're like, ah, while this thing's reacting, which is why Suno will not be surprised necessarily. But you guys don't get an immediate reaction. Essentially, this thing will get two turns before you guys get to move apart from Suno. That being said, this thing um jumps up out of the sand i am gonna roll a d4 to see who it sees first um going from left then up and around clockwise uh that is you sooner it is essentially facing you when it comes okay. up um it comes up and it is quick one of its legs, the one which you see coming up first, is it's probably not reaching up. It's probably coming at you to try and impale you on the leg. Yes, um, well, okay. I didn't know we were walking on you. Calm down. <laughs> the I need my dice because this is a creature that I don't have in Roll20. Mm, that is a almost definitely a miss. A nine versus your AC? Nope. Okay. And the next attack it gets, oh yes, is a 20, but not a natural 20. Uh, yes, that Which will I hit me. assume is a hit. All right. I will now roll the damage. A leg launches out fast, and you just see Suna kind of like move to one side before it catches you for, and this is why it's very hard to beat, Oof, 14. <laughs> oh, ouch. I, this thing probably straight up impales you. I think it probably lifts yeah. you out, like, off the sand as this <laughs> hits you and lifts you upwards. Um, let's see. Uh, no, that's if it does something else. Um, it kind of, like, slams you to the ground as it brings its leg down, and then it starts to shift up, this sand pouring off of the back of it. Oh, 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 my God. God, I forgot how much that hurts. It is your turn, but I'm not going to move down the order because you're just getting a turn and it's going to do stuff to the others. Okay. Um, For the sake of spell casting, is this the sand is considered movable earth, I would assume? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, So is it still, is its leg still in, in me or did it just like impale me? Kind of up to you. And then it's still on the ground. Okay. Technically, um, it doesn't have to be. Okay. Well, it I, I'd like to think that it stabbed me and then retracted its uh, leg, I guess. And I would like to cast Mold Earth and target the loose area underneath it. Yeah. And I can deposit it up to, I can move it, excavate it and move it up to five feet away. I just want to rebury it and stall it for time. Rebury the, the yep. spider. I want to put it, I want to put it back under the earth. Yeah, okay. And that doesn't require anything like a save. You just do it. Uh, let me just check. Can I just put it in there so we can all read it together? Yeah. 
There we go. Choose a portion of dirt or stone that you can see, um, and it fits within a five foot cube that is much smaller than the spider. Um, can I use the, can I use it then to just blind it? Can I take a five foot cube worth of sand and deposit it right on its eyes? Just launch it at its face? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you probably can. You just you okay. bring this this sand up into kind of a ball or a cube around its head and just put it on its head. I mean, it's kind of covered in sand anyway. You just add to it. Um, but it's it's got sand on its head for a moment. Does it hold it there or does it just fall off? Or it's anything? for an hour, yeah. So if I can leave it on his eyes to try to blind him, it'll stay for an hour. Right. But what if he shakes it off? Uh, well, it's, I'm not sure it's up to you, but it says I, I can deposit it anywhere I want and it'll stay for an hour. Uh, so grind. you can kind of turn it into difficult terrain. Because mm. if, it, if it won't blind him, then I would use it to give cover to my teammates instead. But I'd prefer to blind him so he has disadvantage. Yeah, I don't know if it's that strong, really. I don't think it's designed to be like you sand coffin Gara style someone okay. and uh, trap a five foot cube of sand around someone's face. Because okay. you can just kill nope. people with <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was gonna I was gonna bury people It's literally a lot that Naruto sure. I saw move. That and was like, All right. He's like a sand coffin and just crush <laughs> Yeah, yeah, crush him. Thing. Um, well, so okay, so you probably, I, it probably I... would fall off of him, I would imagine. Okay. It, it, what it does um, is it gives it, it would make it difficult to rain for like someone normally. Um, okay. And that... Well, in that case, I will use it to actually move and build a solid bit of because these are stones that I can see also, correct? That yeah. I'm looking at on the map. You can make so one I will of those. Actually just, yeah, I will actually just take stone and give Ellie cover then, so she can. Nice. Do I think I can do yeah. that. There's one, yeah. kinda. Okay. Um, so, so you probably put it like here. Or yeah, the whole something. area around me will go dark when that happens. It's like shadowy stuff kind of coming out from underneath me. And then I just, my eyes go black and I pick up this rock and then with, you know, with my mind and I bring it over and all of a sudden it springs up in front of you, Ellie. And it's cover for you to hide behind. Yeah, and, and what cover Eight. does, depending on the type of cover, and I'll double check my brain is working. Um, when you have, there are certain types of cover. You can hide behind things. Um, Ellie, you can use them to hide in stealth, like you did previously. But also, when creatures are targeting you, if you have something known as half cover, you get a plus two bonus to your AC. And you can get three quarters cover, which will give you a plus five bonus to your AC. And you can have total cover, which means you cannot be targeted by direct attacks or spells, although area of effect spells could still hit you and stuff like that. So depending on how well you describe or how well you roll or where you move maybe on the battle map, you can actually use the terrain to kind of hide behind things and get into positions and give yourself bonuses to AC and, and boost that. And I think, Ellie, you get that. Because this thing's so big, it's probably only half cover, so you get a you get a half cover here. Um, but I think because it's partially sand and dirt, you can probably also use it to stealth when the time comes. However, that time is not yet because you're still kind of like freaking out in surprise mode. Um, is there anything else you want to do, Zuna? Nope. All right. Well, now we enter normal. Normal, normal mode. Again, this thing sucks. To fight. All right. Uh, 1d4. This thing is like whipping around. Two. This thing kind of like turns. And as it's turning, Bo, you see one of those legs come down towards you. Ooh, uh, that's almost uh, yeah. going to hit. That is another 20, actually. I can count the same. Uh, what is your AC? Your armor Whoa. class? It is... 15. 15. So this is going to hit you. Again, like, this thing's just kind of, like, huge now in front of you. Like, kind of like that thing from Lord of the Rings that tries to eat, whatever his name is, Frodo. And it's, like, moving around. Um, it's trying to get a sense of where you all are. Whatever that thing. I can't remember its name. Gandalf. That's what it is. Um, 
the uh, the legs are like stomping around you guys. There's sand flying down. It's kind of probably rumbling the ground a little bit. And one of those legs, Bo, you see it just come down at you. And it is going to impale you for no! 17. Oh. 17 oh, hit hey. points. Bo, are you all right? Of oh. damage. I've had better days. <laughs> so, not, uh, so do you know? Let me just uh, double check that you're character sheet is correct oh yeah you got it so you've got your hit point maximum at the top um so you can minus that off for the current hit points that you don't don't ever lose um to take 17 off of that and that's how that works cool uh it's not over yet who's next the legs are still slamming down on the ground uh aura oh hi yes i think i'm next aren't i uh no no no, no. it was rolling oh, i'm rolling randomly order? one was aura two was bow you were three you're the only one who's not getting hit Wait, it's still how come it's go. he's attacking multiple times? Like, it more gets, than twice? It gets multi-attack. Um, so it's stabbing. How many, how many times can an attack per turn? Um, three, depending on what happens, but it's doing two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gee. Okay. It sucks. 17, no, 18, sorry, Aura, against your AC. Oh, can I... Okay, so I'm new to this, obviously. I have yeah. Hellish Rebuke. Can I use that as a reaction? You can, so long as uh, you have to take the damage first. Okay. So, I'll take the damage. Yeah, what is your AC? I'll try and remember uh, them, but 18. I don't know. 18. All right, so it makes it, breaks it. It's going to hit you for seven damage. The leg comes down. Do you probably avoid it? I think Bo and Suna just have holes in them, like they've been hit by a <laughs> bullet or something. <laughs> and, uh, and then you... Um, maybe this, like the spines, the sharp serrated edge of one of its its legs, kind of just cuts along um, the the top of your traps or something like that. It probably catches a flesh ear and leaves a horrible open wound to the mm -hmm. to the sound of seven. And then yeah, you can use a hellish rebuke, which is a counter spell basically. Yeah, you can use it as a reaction. Um, okay. Roll, click, click hellish rebuke. I think it's in there correctly. And it should roll and under it. attacks and spell casting. Yeah. Okay, so it says cast at which level? I'm level three. Uh that's the spell level, which I think you should only have first level spells. Okay, then never mind, I'll leave it at level one. Okay. Yeah. So it makes a dex save. Which plus three. It makes just, uh, which I think means it takes half damage on Hellish Rebuke. So how does this look when you uh, when you do this? This thing hits you, and then you can just instantly do whatever you do. How, what do we see? Uh, my skin turns very pale, and I have these dark green veins that look like tree roots on my face. They turn black, and just from the top of my arm all the way down my hand, a flame just shoots out at the belly of the spider trying to light it on fire. Nice. In a concentrated stream of just, it's like a flamethrower from my arm. Nice, yeah. And yeah, it, it runs up the side of this leg. I think there's an instant stench of that kind of burning hair smell as this thing just um, ignites. The hairs catch on fire. I think you only really burn part of its leg. That's how big this thing is. Um, you deal, uh, it flinches. So it takes half of the damage. Maybe some of the flames don't catch it. With 11, I think we round up. So you deal six damage, um, which brings it to that amount of HP. It kind of lets out a strange hissing noise, like a hissing squeak kind of noise that's just awful. <laughs> kind of weird sucking sound from this horrible set of mandibles that are huge in front of your face. And it whips its head round to you as this flame runs up its um, leg. And that is the end of its turn, bringing us finally to you, Ellie. It is your turn. What would you like to do? Mm -hmm. You're muted, darling. Uh huh. Damn it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. <laughs> if I enter, can I enter stealth before I hit to get advantage or no? Um, I think I so, remember. yeah. You can, you can use a bonus action to hide, so. 
Yeah, to to like as soon as the wall comes up, go into stealth. Like you just see me disappear as the sand like just wraps around uh, my body. Yeah, give me um, uh, give me a stealth check. Okay, where is it? Uh, Damn, twenty seven. Oh my god, the <laughs> what? Plus eight. <laughs> I feel uh, like it would be like in yeah. a, a scene from a movie where the sand comes up and it just looks like I'm engulfed by it and then I just disappear. Yeah, yeah, she's gone. She, like... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I run away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, the, uh, I mean, thank you for clarifying. We did have a rogue do that to us once, so you know. <laughs> so here's uh, here's how like um, here's how the stealth thing works. I think when okay. you attack, you kind of break the stealth. Is, is generally how it works. You're in the hide action. If you are yeah. hiding and not doing any attacking, then people, you know, imagine you're fighting like bandits or whatever. They don't know where you are. If you f if you shoot an arrow, they go, oh, she's over there. Um, so you need to reactivate the hiding every time. Um, so you can do it before or after, but bear it bear it in mind around the, the attack itself will kind of break the stealth to a degree. Yeah. You can hide, move and hide again, that kind of thing. Yeah. Especially because the move? partial cover is there. So you can go uh, attack and then come back and with the rest of your mo movement to that partial cover. I so. wanted to see if I could move behind cover over here, you know, like behind this rock that's near, I don't know, pillar. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's like a maester. It's like one of those um, just, just yeah, like a pillar of rock that's bursting up out of the sand, some sort of natural formation. And uh, yeah, you can do that. I think because you're hidden... I don't know if this thing, let me remind myself, hide D&D, &D, um, opportunity attack is what I'm going to Google because I can't remember. Um, oh, right. Yeah. So you need to disengage. So your, your roguey bullshit that lets you do a bonus action hide is you can disengage, you can hide, or you can double your running speed and run double the amount. Um, you still need can to I hide? disengage. I can't hide then disengage, like so that way I'm not in sight of the per thing as I disengage. You can do that, but you'd have to use your action to do the disengage. The thing so with you, is you're special be because you can do those on a bonus action. Everyone else has to use an action to do one of those. Um, you can still okay. use your action to do it, but then yeah, you would consume your ability to attack the thing. So you can choose to disengage, and you can wreck on uh, this. I'll let you wreck on this now if you want. You can disengage okay. and run over there, shoot, and then hide. No, you wouldn't be able to hide. Um, or um, do what you were going to do. Hide. That's your bonus action. And then shoot. And then deal with the stuff on the next one. Basically, you don't have enough actions to do the disengage and hide and attack. Okay. Do you know what I, I mean? Gonna, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Rogues, man. <laughs> Sorry. I I think that um I think that uh, I because if I disengage it gets a attack of opportunity, right? No, if you disengage that will stop it from being able to do that. That's why you would disengage. Disengage oh. literally means you move five oh. foot away and it can't attack you with its reaction. I was hesitant because I thought it was gonna get a, a attack of opportunity. So no, that's I was what like, that does. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna disengage then. I'm just gonna disengage. Uh, the okay. wall pops up and I just like take it as a time to like. I think you see my characters crouch as soon as it pops up, and then I bounce my feet off the wall, do a backflip, run off. <laughs> um, and it looks like I'm bailing maybe to people. Yeah. Um, uh, and I, I'm going to run behind that, that rock that's or that pillar that's right behind me, about sure. 30 feet. And then right as I'm at the pillar, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to shoot my bow. Okay. So. Yeah. So I move to wherever you want to move. Um, oh, okay. Which is uh, the... Uh, which is the oh, just this one right behind me right there oh yep. i keep getting the pop-up there we go uh so i mean i'm, I'm imagining this is shaped kind of like a cone and i'm just gonna like like hide my body around it and yep. then just keep popping out okay so and then uh give me the attack roll <laughs> 23 23 is a hit yeah and you still get sneak attack because you have yeah. allies six next to it so add the sneak attack as well. Oh, uh, wait, how do I? Mm. Oh, I when, do the pure sneak attack. Okay, when you have sorry. advantage or when you have um, that wasn't right. allies next to it. Hang on. Uh, oh, on the uh, attacks and spell casting in the middle, you just have sneak attack 
which says 2d6 next to it. Just click that button. Uh, sneak attack. Oh, dead center of the okay. page. My cat is howling right now. I'm sorry. It's distracting me. It's okay. Um, so I can't find it. So dead center of your page. Um, where you probably clicked short bow. Down two. I, uh, I see. Oh, sneak attack. Uh, oh my gosh. There you go. Yeah. That. And that's a seven. So in total, six plus seven. That's 412 damage from the rogue. Hi. Um, yeah, I think you do all this stuff. You like do a little cartwheel flip thing. You push off the wall and then she just starts bailing out. This thing is like rising up out of the sand, sending legs out everywhere. Probably one does come down towards you and you kind of roll out of the way of it. Run back towards this, this pillar. Put your back against it. Fire off an arrow. And uh, yeah, it, it catches the, uh, the side of the um, the giant spider here. What kind of cover would this damage. be considered? Um, depending on the angle the thing is at, you're probably at the same half cover situation because okay. you're still kind of like not all the way behind it. Um, okay. And this thing is big as well. But I mean, it, it seems to be very bright. It's facing directly away from you and, and eyeing Aura for dinner right now. Okay. I think it probably thinks Sooner is dead. <laughs> um, and, uh, Not that far off. <laughs> and it's Let's gonna, be real. Yeah. Well, now I saved cover for someone else, so. Yeah. It's very nice of you. And uh, that brings us to the end of your turn. Once again, we're back around to you, Sooner. Did everyone else go? No, it was a surprise round. Oh, right, because it got surprised. up. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's freaking um, out, basically, for most of the time. You're just, you just don't, because you saw it first. Uh... Okay, um, I would like to cast uh, Darkness on the spider. I want to blind it. Nice. Yeah, okay, wait, darkness is a little different to straight out blindness, but yeah. Uh, magical darkness spreads from a point you choose within 15 feet, within a fifth, to fill a 15 foot radius sphere for the duration. Um, creature with dark vision can't see through the darkness. What can you see? Okay. Um, and non magical light can't illuminate it, blah, 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 blah. I just want to know if you can move it. No. So I think this just goes down somewhere. So I'll give you a little thing. And uh, you're putting it over its face. Yeah. I want it to not be able to see. But the spider, I'm assuming, is... Because I can control how big it goes. Because it says up to, right? Or yeah. will it... Okay. So I um, I want to blind the spider. And uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'll do, lad. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you access to that magical darkness thing oh look at that and you can I move that where you darkness. want it. its face is uh probably here on this square okay here i would say i'll tell you what i'll probably have to do it won't i um because it's weird probably oh god there okay because it's about to eat aura okay <laughs> okay um so this this huge globe appears around this thing's face. Yeah. And it, you're doing the full 15 feet? Uh, no, I only want to cover its eyes. I just want to blind it. I don't want to. I mean, there's wind and desert, so I'm sure a big black spot of darkness we'd all know to attack there. But I really am only trying to blind it. So, yeah, I won't let it go the full 15 feet. I just want to cover all eight of its creepy eyeballs. Yeah. And you do that, which allows Aura to actually react. Do you move or anything? Uh, yeah, I will move behind this uh, half cover. Very well. And you have half, half, half cover. I will never remember these things, so try and remember them. Okay. Um, bringing us to you, Aura, what would you like to do on your turn? There is a big spider in front of you, all legs, but there is now just a pitch black globe of darkness over its face. Since... I, is it reacting to being blind? Is it like thrashing around or anything like that? Yeah, it looks like it's just going to move away from the darkness and be out of it any second now. <laughs> Does it? Okay. Um, so 
I'm gonna try to take advantage as soon as she casts that. I'm going to do Hunter's Mark. Yep. And I'm gonna pull out my great sword and I'm gonna aim right underneath its face, yeah. like toward in its chest. Just drive it straight in. Okay. Does Hunter's Mark look like anything? Do you do anything special here? Because that's kind of you literally marking a creature to take extra damage. You can also track this thing forever if you wanted to. You are hunting okay. it. Um, my sword just, since I'm going to use my sword, it just kind of glows like a little bit of electricity on it. And the electricity is just like sparking and it lands on the chest where I want to drive the sword into. Nice. It just kind of fizzles out. Yeah. Um, okay, give me uh, an attack roll. Okay. Do I have to roll Hunter's Mark or anything too? Nope, you'll just I get a d6 of damage at the end of it. Okay. But she has advantage, right? Why? Because it can't see anything. Because it is blind. Yeah, do you know what? I think probably it does. Um, Because it kind of can't see. I mean, it's not really blind, but it is blinded and for I now. And I think you can... Yeah. Technically, you can't... I Like, you can't use the darkness as traditional cover, but you can hide behind it, KPP, or in it, uh, when it moves out of its space. That way, it can't really see you or attack you. That darkness okay. doesn't go anywhere. That's just a... Yeah, it's just going to of... be there, like a the shield or cover or something like that, that you can slip in and out of if you want to take advantage okay. of it. The... Yeah, I'll give you advantage on this. Okay. Because it doesn't know it's happening, but it's about that you're moving towards it with a big sword. Mm-hmm. 12. I think you, roll I think you probably no, you don't you don't hit it. Oh. Well actually I think you do hit it. But it's kind of like moving wildly backwards and you catch it with maybe the end of your sword and maybe you in your moving forward you don't get like the perfect footing. You feel your sword hit like a carapace. Like there's sections of this spider that are naturally armored and you just kind of notice that like it runs down the side of it it leaves a mark but it's it's for sure done no damage it doesn't seem to even really react to you um you need to get a better um strike on it i okay. think because a 12 is too low you don't quite okay. make the ac and you can move though if you want to move i'm gonna move back if you move uh gets a free attack on you it is blind which means it will have disadvantage but it does get to if you disengage from outside of that same uh, area mm -hmm. we just, you know like last week i think you did the same thing yeah um if you move out here it gets a free attack on you unless you take an action to disengage which is what pocket did but she can, she's special because she's a rogue and they can do it mm -hmm. on a bonus action Lots of rules, isn't it? You've got a really hard uh, fight and a bullshit fight for like your first fight ever here, by the way. So it's like, yeah, you need to do disengage and you need to learn how the reactions are and what a hunter's mark does and just dumped with horrible amounts of information. I'm just trying to decide if it's worth um, giving distance. I... It, I'm just, I guess I'll just stay here because I can slip into the darkness if I need to. Okay. It, 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 I'm sorry. It can't attack you right now if you dis if you move away because it's blind, right? It can attack. It just doesn't. It has a disadvantage. Oh God. Yeah. I'm just gonna crouch down, okay. and I'm I'm gonna try I'm to. I'm not saying it will attack. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I think it would be worth it to get. To I think so too. Uh, well, I, even I, not to get to me, but or to get to wherever you like to get. You can get out of attack range. That's quite good. Yeah. I think I, since the darkness is there, I'm just going to crouch and lean into the darkness. <laughs> that, I, okay. Yeah. All right. That's also the opening line to your brand new album. Crouch into the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to crouch and lean into <laughs> the darkness. Book. Evanescence's <laughs> fifth studio album. All right. <laughs> um, brings us to Bo. Bo... What would you like to do? What are you doing? There's a giant spider here. Everyone's dying. Oh, You've boy. been hit by it. You're bleeding, yeah, probably. I ain't doing so good either, but uh, I always put a lady first. I see that Suna's not looking so good. I try to call out to her, Suna! Yes! Okay, all right. This darn spider's in the way. You you look like you could use a hand! 
let go oh. assist you, toots. So I shout out, healing word! So I cast <laughs> You just shout <laughs> healing word. Oh, sorry, bada boom! That's my healing word. Okay. Yeah, what the heck? But, but a, sorry, bada boom. <laughs> bada boom is my healing word. So I roll. <laughs> Yeah, you roll your healing word. Yeah, you just click on uh, okay. in the attacks and spell casting there. It should roll it for you. Oh. It's probably asking you a spell level as well. Um, oh, it should. Uh oh. You, yeah, that's correct, I think. Yeah. So, um, how does this look? Hmm. Well, I shout bada boom, and as I do, the sands move like waves of water. Nice. And the winds, they blast sooner like a small, sexy gust of wind flowing through her long locks. Yeah. You're welcome, baby. You should be feeling okay, donkey. There's a <laughs> twinkle on his sunglasses as he does it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Whew. Um, that breeze is nice. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you heal... Uh, sooner for six healing, um, six HP sooner back. Some of Thank your you. wound nits closed. Um, and healing word is a bonus action, so that's a bonus spell. So you actually still have a main action here. You can do something Ooh. else. Technically, really? you can only I, uh, cast one well, spell. Well, what are you thinking? Get the get the fuck out of there right now. Okay, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. C can I uh, just you know move a little bit? Yeah, you can move. Up to I your love speed. Bo Bobo, okay? You I can... would die on a hill for Bo Bobo. So, <laughs> like I'm just gonna Bobo be... Bay. I'll be nice. <laughs> I'll give you, uh... I'll give you options of what you can do here and what you probably should do in those situations. You can move, uh, I think, 30 feet. So, using the little ruler tool, you can pick anywhere that's 30 feet away. You can't really move through this, um... The spiders area. You can move through areas where your friends are. Um, but say you wanted to run over here, you can do that. Again, the same as with KPP. If you try and move away from this thing without using your action to disengage from it, it could potentially try and hit at you. It is a bit blinded, so it might... It has disadvantage, so it's less chance for it to hit you, but it could technically still do that. You can use your action to disengage and move away. Or you could do something like hit it with a sword and then run away. Um, while you're next to it or you can run backwards and then use your action to attack with something else. Technically you can't cast two spells in a round. You can do a cantrip and a full spell. So you've done healing word and you would need now to use either a cantrip or a physical weapon or something like that to uh, uh, for your action. So you wouldn't be able to do another full spell. Um, welcome to hard mode by the way because I've never used this rule until now. I've always just let people do two spells. And then I was like, you know what? I hate these. I hate these guys so much. I hate them. I hate this crew. I'm going to be nasty to them. No, I'm, I just didn't barely even know. I barely even knew it was that's a roll. And, uh, hey, Bo's a guy. <laughs> so um, that's my excuse. Um, no, but that's what it is. That is the rule. I've just always done it wrong. Unfortunately, I am an improved DM for this one, this campaign. So you can... Move, uh, he, disengage, or can't he disengage too sooner as well? Because or not disengage, move too sooner as well because yep, uh, he can move through technically like through the enemy if they're around the same size as you. Well, he can. Yeah, actually, this this because this thing's large. You yeah. could maybe lawyer that you move through its legs or whatever, and I think I'd give it. Yeah, it can crawl right under and then go to Suna. Yeah, you are technically, pretty short. I wouldn't watch that. Technically, you're not <laughs> you're not able to move through um, tokens that are enemies and stuff, but you can oh. move through tokens that are friends. If so you're, I, I, if can't, it's, I can't limbo under it either. If it's ginormous or it's like a spider and it's on its legs, I think you can lawyer that you can move under it if you want. But you wouldn't disengage. You wouldn't need to disengage to do that. Um, because you're not leaving its threat range. This is this whole section here is its threat range. Um, so you could even just move here to here um, and stand next to Suna. You'd still be next to it, and it, it has eight giant legs, so you'd still be in the I... a similar position. But behind this piece of dirt that Suna raised up, you would have plus two to your AC mm. for when it does attack you. If you wanted to do it that way. All so right, I think those I'm gonna are your hide behind the dirt. All right. So, move your token to where you want to be. You have the movement to get to Suna. You can move around the back of the spider there. Um, you know, probably s 
scrabbling along as it's stomping around um, as you weave in between its giant legs and get round to sooner. You can't go over there. <laughs> That's too far. You can get to here. Oh, whoops. Oh. If you go outside of... Um, in fact, I think I can be clever. Let me try and be an actual decent GM for once in my life. Um, this, I think, is... It's... No. Let's nope. see. One. Let's see. Hold on. I'm doing... I'm doing... I'm trying to be clever. Hello? No? All right. Who can see it? Can you see it? Oh, there you go. Can you see a square around it in red? Yeah. Yes. Oh, red. I'll leave that on it for now. If you move out of that wow, range... that is very helpful. Thank you. If you move away from that red square and in fact actually i think if i do do this this would probably be easier wouldn't it yeah there you go if you move out of that square it could potentially get a free attack on you i'll put it this way though also if if it used its reaction to attack one of you leaving it wouldn't be able to do that again it can only do that once unless it's a special creature which it isn't so um it uses a thing called a reaction which is what kpp used to use a hellish rebuke you have like a, a secret action that you can activate when yeah. something happens it uses it and consumes its reaction action to attack at one of you if one of you does leave the square so it hasn't happened yet but for example say it did attack pocket on her first round it wouldn't ever be able to attack anyone else till its next round so um, most, most things only get one attack of opportunity opportunity reaction pr pretty much everyone um oh, okay. well you have one reaction everything has one reaction um, and that's what it uses. You have an action, bonus action, reaction, and movement, and that's really all you can do. Some things have legendary actions and stuff, but I'm not going to confuse you all with that just yet, and this doesn't have it, so don't worry. Um, so, does that make sense? If you leave this square, you will die. You won't die, but you you can get to here. Bo. All right. <laughs> yeah? Uh, I'll leave that square up. Oh, Bo, are you all right? I'm, I'm all right. <sighs> The just hide here. spider. And here is where everything is going to go well for you, I think. Uh, in fact, I'll roll a little bit. shit. Oh, all right. You know what? The spider is probably just going to straight up move over here. Which means... Attack of opportunity. <laughs> Bo and Sooner, you can <laughs> attack it with your reaction if you want. You're probably the two that don't have the best, like, melee attack. I think an attack of opportunity is just a melee. I think so, too. Um, you can't, like, cast a giant spell. Um, but because it's left your your threat range, your little square of red, you can use a free attack if you want to try and uh, to try and hit it. You have... Well, it, it I, will provoked. I will try. All right. Me too. With a melee weapon. <laughs> An enchanted walking stick. <laughs> Uh, all right. Ten is a miss. Bo, do you yeah, want to give course. me a, an attack? <laughs> I you... wildly like swing it around behind me and try to attack it. <laughs> I think your only melee no weapon luck. is a is a dagger. Bo, so you can give me a dagger attack. I mean, you can try Oops. and you could Oops. try and hit it with the like crossbow if you want, but it, I I think you have. I've got with use... the dagger, baby. Yeah, and also if you try and use a, is, I, this is so overly complex already. Um, but if you try and use a, a ranged weapon at close range, you have disadvantage. So bear that in oh. mind. Yeah. All right. Dagger. 21 is a hit. Give me the damage on that. So do you just like... Okay. Do you fling it behind you or do you peek? Do you look? Like, what does it look like when you... Six is stab good. this thing six with is, a dagger? Six is a lot of... I think that's max damage for, for you. Oh, uh, yes! Yeah. What does it look like as you stab this thing in the leg, I guess, as it runs away? It, I'm it right makes, next to you. It makes like a small little ee cry. Like I can't, I can't imitate a sound of a spider, but it, yeah, it makes something like that, and some stuff gushes out. It, it kind of looks milky too, like yeah. the stuff that we collected. It's, it's <laughs> looking so good. Um, but yeah, and it starts to limp a little, maybe too. It's wow. not what happened. Don't mess with that. Oh, that's impressive. You just whipped around there and I, I yell out, stabbed it. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, we all right, might so die after all. It moves out of the uh, it moves out of the the globe of darkness, 
and round. But the thing is, you've all moved away. It doesn't really seem to be too bothered by you guys that have moved away from it. But it is very... Um, as soon as it moves around this and out of this darkness, it can still see you. You're crouching and leaning into the darkness, but I don't think you're in it because it was in it and you wouldn't have been able to get into it because its face was there. Um, mm -hmm. So you are still visible to it and that's when it unleashes a horrendous amount of attacks on you as it starts to it's going to try and eat you now uh oh um first attack is a 15 which is a miss i think against your ac yeah my oh. ac is 18 18 all right a 15 and a 17 oh my god um which means that shield you got from ahi last week is what stops this thing from from hitting you twice um <laughs> so this thing like kind of moves around you and i think probably that's it's not necessarily trying to impale you it's just like flailing out and it's just like dum 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 kind of moving around you and that's when it turns and it sees you and it's going to try and bite you <laughs> um oh. that is a 22 <gasps> which i assume is a, a hit um this thing sees you spies you and it's huge face and these just horrible mandibles just whoop, 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 come at you um let me see what this one does this one sucks this one sucks real hard bam 17 piercing damage to you aura and could you give me a constitution saving throw Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I'm having... Wow. Um, that's horrific. You... Um, I think probably everyone here, you see this thing kind of flail. Its legs going... Dum, 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 move around. Um, move around Aura. Uh, let me look at how much HP you've got left. Aura. Okay. Yeah, I think you probably just see this thing grab Aura. It's it's mandibles grab like her waist and then crush. I think Aura, you probably let out like a yelp before you are knocked unconscious or outright killed. I don't think the others can tell. This thing just lifts you up, throws you behind it. And then this limp body is launched over the back of this spider. It hits the sand. Your greatsword is left behind on the front of this thing. And then you roll over. The um, the little form of buns, the robin, flies up over towards where you are. And that's where we're going to go to our break today. <clears throat> that was a, a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to message you something, KPP, on the break. And this is the worst possible outcome for the fight that well. you could have picked on my entire random encounter table. Well, shit. And I suspected such a thing would happen if you encountered it. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. <coughs> Horrifically Party rough wipe, first fight. Two. You were correct, um, PB. The yep. it, far, far from the kobolds. Remember those little guys? Yeah. Remember the easy, easy kobolds. I've made a huge mistake. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go to a little break. Thanks for watching. Um, Come back to see the actual funeral. For all of us. After the break, <laughs> some sort of like desert funeral. And uh, don't forget to check out our Discord, Table Story Discord. There is all sorts of theory type crafting and things over there. People who are discussing all sorts of stuff that may or may not be spoilers because some people seem to have predicted everything I've ever written. Um, and make sure you follow all of these wonderful people on their usual streams. Everyone you see before you is a streamer. Um, and they each have links in the chat or in the description if you're on a VOD. Go and find them, question them, and make sure you go and see Katie Peters plays in the week and throw a quick F in the chat. And we'll see you after the break. This is literally like, I think, her second time playing d, &D ever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 It really is. Okay. See you in a minute. All right. We'll be back.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the do, fight do, of do, your do. lives. The only fight do, you really do, have ever do. done, apart from the tutorial fight, which was unlosable last week, as opposed to this. What? 
against a <laughs> spider of horror. Um, to be fair, we were facing like, you know, the Cinder Ghost, and now we're facing the Lich King, so. Correct. Yeah. Longer. You went from like the level one crab in the, the, the crab raid boss in WoW the to crab. like the, an actual dungeon boss. So, whatever the last thing in WoW is, I don't know. Um, that's exactly it, yeah. Yeah, um, that. let's see. Aura, you were there now, okay? I'm gonna put you there on the map because you were thrown to the ground. And the spider is done. The spider is done there. Um, bringing us to Ellie's turn. Ellie, you witness all of these things uh, happen. Aura is out of it she's behind the spider no. what would you like to do I oh my her. gosh a 13 oh. on your attack well you're just firing another um shot i just fired another what? arrow automatically and then i went into stealth all right yeah you fire an arrow and it i launches. don't even bother talking i'm just like you gotta be, you gotta be <laughs> fucking kidding me you see me fire an arrow and then i'm like boom and i just disappear and then yeah <laughs> you're gone once again hidden bringing us around to sooner <sighs> okay bo Things are going to get dark for maybe a second, but then it'll go away. Oh. I start mumbling to myself and my both my eyes go dark and I'm like whispering and then I try to fucking levitate the spider. Oh. Um, it has I mean, to roll see. up. Uh, which means the darkness, by the way, also disappears because I can't concentrate on that anymore. Uh, I wonder if this thing's too heavy. But how much is 500 up, pounds? Up to 500 pounds. 500 like... pounds in Britain land. Why do we measure things in stones? Like, what the fuck is... Um... Oh, that's pretty fucking heavy. I would think the spider would be like 300 pounds or something. 350? I mean, he's pretty fast for a fatty if he's it bigger would be... than that. Yeah, yeah, I, I would have thought... I don't know, let's figure every... out how much is like a... Is it like the size of a, a whale or something? Every like player. I think it's 499 pounds. Um, yeah, it's less than 500 pounds. You... Oh, okay. Uh, I was yeah, just going to look up for reference so that we know. Uh, it's a Spider-Man. They're hollow. Okay. Aren't they? Okay. They're yeah, awful. Yeah. They're just... They're only filled with evil, which doesn't weigh anything. Um, so... Yeah, you can, you can lift this thing up. So, uh, yeah, what do you do? Okay. Uh, I everything around me goes dark my eyes go completely black and i'm just whispering and levitating the spider up wow <laughs> and it makes a strength save or a con save con save con save okay so i think hold on let me yep um that's probably a fail what does it need to be that's an 11 from it uh yeah that is not enough uh 14 14 um so I will send it 20 feet up in the air and it will remain feet. suspended there for the duration. <laughs> so up to, up to 10 minutes. Uh, it just... the, target, the target can only move if it can push or pull against a fi fixed object like a wall or ceiling that is within reach, which means it cannot move. Nice. Um, yeah, I wonder if it can web sling over to you. Um, I think this thing just just a horrible giant thing its legs kicking out um just starts to raise up into the sky uh, until it hits like a 20 feet up in the sky mark i mean it's just an awful thing to witness this just giant thing it starts to screech and snap its mandibles the legs are flailing out but kind of ab the, the horrible fat abdomen of this thing is just sitting spending it in the sky and um and i'm sitting next to Bo, just kind of whispering and moving swaying slowly side to side yeah i'm um, keeping an eye on this one i would say you you guys have 10 minutes now <laughs> like i think you're out of combat unless you want to what do you want to do do you think you guys are going to like run away or are you going to chunk this thing down what, what's the plan Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. My bad. We it's should okay. run! <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. If you essentially... We should run! Yeah, if you're holding down all the top buttons and escaping the battle, I'll I'll end the combat for you and you can run. I look at Katie, though. Is she moving? No. How much would it... Uh, Bo! Bo! Yes! Wait, I, Bo. 
and I point I point past him to you got you gotta do that thing. You gotta do the bada boom, whatever. Oh, oh! Bada bing, bada boom, let's go. I'll yes! give you a sort okay. of a temporary right. re reprieve from the combat, but I'll leave the turn order up for now. But essentially, you can be, you're like semi out of combat. As long as you're not like sitting there like, we watch a movie. If you're like okay. gonna sit down and watch in the cellar, then it's gonna ruin everything. But yeah, so Bo, do you go running over or are you gonna bada boom? I'm, I'm just gonna stand where I am and gonna shout out bada boom! Yeah. And give me a and healing just, word. Just like as it did with uh, Suna, it, yeah. it it blasts like supersonic waves over to Aura and yeah. finishes her it off. attacks her gracefully. Yeah. Her hair flows with the wind. Yeah. And I'm I roll. fucking love this smell. Yeah, she's all wounded. She's got all these horrible puncture wounds from these mandible what? bites that filled with sand. Um, Aura, you get eight HP. Um, she doesn't move. She remains oh. completely still on the ground. Oh! I have a tiny hand! <laughs> okay. What? Too much information! It's, I! No, wait! It, it might just work. I might be able to lift her without having to, to actually lift her. Um, let me try this out. Uh... I, I think she weighs more than 10 pounds. Oh. I don't know if you'd be able to do that. What? Okay, it's it's, it's not working. There's I'm, a mage There's a mage hand that appears, a little astral hand, yeah? I was telling you I had a hand, another hand, it tiny It probably hand. starts to try and lift a piece of Aura's clothing. <laughs> Is it's work? not working. Uh, I might just have to go in there and save her myself and pick her up. There is a very large spider suspended above her, but it is 20 feet above the ground, like the end, end of it, one of its longest. And we have 10 minutes to drag her to safety, which would take 10 minutes just to get her to where I am, probably. I'm gonna do it. No, 10 minutes in D&D is forever. I'm going in. But we should we should just go grab her, heal her, and take her out. Yeah, it's like uh, 60 seconds around or something like that, right? Okay. I'm gonna grab her. Okay, so I'm running over yeah. to Laura. Yeah. I pick her up. Yeah. I start running, by the way. I'm I'm booking it. I'm out okay. of it. Yeah, everybody yeah, should run. bounce. All I'm, right. I'm, I'm booking it uh, on the train tracks. I'm like, I'm gone. So. And Bo, you just pick up. Yep. Aura. I pick her up. Her eyes and are open and her body is very limp and heavy. Are you strong? Hang in there. Yes. Yeah? Give me an athletics check. D despite my age. Oh, okay. boy. Nine. I think you do it, but you're struggling a little bit. Like okay, you lift her up, she's just dead weight. Thought. It's that weird dead weight thing where you're like, Ugh. oh my god. And then you start heading west along the train tracks again. I don't want to do this, but I look back. I see Bo. I owe it to Bo. I run back and I put my arm around one shoulder and I help lift Katie. And start ho and and yeah, start moving. Do I do I need to do a check or anything? Uh, if you're both doing it, I think you're good because really all you're doing is helping Bo's nine, and he only needs <laughs> one more, so minimum you would help. Yeah. And I look at Bo and I'm like, you better not fucking trip. And oh. I just keep running. <laughs> well, 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 wait. Maybe you can use the your mini hand to pick up her sword. I can't oh. grab it. Oh yes, I can. I'll do that. All right. You, um, each of you just, uh, books it. Your two of you are carrying this body. Um, she's, like, moving around. Body's not really doing anything. Um, she's just dead weight as you, the two of you kind of move away. Um, everyone give me, give me athletics checks. Damn. 22, 23, 23. Yeah. Um, You do pretty good. I think you start to make um, good progress. And you run... How long do you want to run for? Like, like pelt, sprint, move. Go as fast as you can in the horrific heat of the desert. 
for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. That, or at least until that, like, I... For 9 I mean, minutes and 36 every, seconds. Every, every round, I actually can move it with my concentration. So I can keep moving it away from us as we're running. But I, eventually, it's going to get too far away and the spell is going to... It's just disconnect. one of those things, like, after a while, it's just going to lose line of sight, just like, yeah. uh, uh... Well, I mean, it's a desert, so we have that going for us. I can probably see it for quite a while. But I think it's up to 60 feet. So once we're at that mark, it's it it drops and it might chase us. I'd say like if it's like yo, I, I look to you, to you and I'm like how how long can you do that spell? That uh, about ten minutes. I can hide it behind one of these rocks here. Like I can move it enough so that I can drop it behind a rock and we'll be out of its vision and maybe it will forget about us. I don't okay. know. Okay, you do that and we just need to run. We just need to last it for that. Let's, like, let's just run as far as, because it's, it's too hot to keep going. We gotta we gotta find shade, shelter, like we gotta start focusing on other things. And obviously now we're carrying someone that is not doing well. So I agree. Let's let's just run for that and 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 then try to find shelter. As soon as well, we can. I, I can potentially make us some shelter, but that would be it. I would need to rest. Okay, same, I think. Everyone but me is in pretty bad shape right now, so. All right. So, you guys move relatively quickly away from the area where that spider is. After about 10 minutes, maybe, you slow down, you check behind you. Everyone give me perception checks. Oh, don't make me do this again. When I say everyone, I don't mean you, KPP. 23. You'll never make a perception check again. Um. <laughs> wow. You, um, you look back and it doesn't seem like this thing is chasing you. Um, it's not like <sighs> running after you. We're not going to have I think that. we're okay. Yeah. Thank the gods. There's no... I'm like, nah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, there's no like, there's no like sand burrowing up coming after you and there isn't like a fucking spider Final Fantasy VIII style running after you on a bridge. You're just... You appear, it appears to have given up chasing you or it doesn't move further than its lair or something like that. It doesn't appear to be following you um All right maybe maybe set her down I, I think we should take a look at her what's what's going on did it, it bit her right is there can i as i we did this perception is there like any form of anything nearby pillars or or whatever a cave or a house like anything is there anything nearby or is it just sand let's find out Ooh, roll me a d20 okay oh god Last time I did this. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you. <laughs> um, so, you see two things. Okay. Um, there are maces and, and thick pillars and things um, that are around that might provide shade um, somewhat in the sense that like, like there's a shadow on this image, um, that kind of shade. I don't think you okay. see any any um, homes. You don't see any um, uh, like caves or anything that would make a, a decent stable structure. But you can probably move towards like a some shade, which isn't a huge. I point benefit, to like this something. area, then like this little dip, like a valley area. Right. Yeah. Like you can find something. Um, you also find something else. You find. Oh. Um, a, a really old looking weathered wooden sign um, it says uh, it says Thin Dune on it and that is spelt like this okay Thin Dune okay it's old and busted um, I, look, I look at um, I look at Suna and I'm like Do you, what is this Where is this a place or I, I I actually don't know. I don't remember. I've never heard of that before. Hmm. I think maybe we should go towards it, but for now, uh we should maybe go in that shade over there and I point to um the Mesa area where there's like a little bit of shade and a lot of sun. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, we should go over there. Um KPP, yeah. wiggle your big toe. Give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Hey. I'm scared. <laughs> hey! Oh, 
Yay! A 17. A with a minus one. GG. With a minus one on well your done. con. Oh. Um, you you start wiggling your big toe. So you can move right now. I'll take it. All right. Um, yeah, you guys move to, to an area where you maybe settle down for a bit. The heat of the morning continues to, to rise. But are you guys taking a moment to... Um, relax or are you just investigating what's going on with um with aura if you're i look at Bo and i'm like you should heal those wounds nope. there's like blood everywhere the I'm wounds are the a same. little the wounds are a little healed um the yeah. the raw kind of open gash has been knitted together somewhat by the um the original spell but you can see that it looks very red around it um, almost like an uh, an infection, but it's way too quick for that kind of thing. It looks extremely sore um, around the horrible puncture wounds that make um, that are sitting on both of of Aura's hips. Um, you can give me medicine checks. If oh, you I was are... talking about Bo because he hasn't healed himself. Oh, but... him? Oh, okay, yeah. He's... Oh, oh, you, oh, right, yeah. He's me. got a he's got a, oh, a like oh, a shotgun like wound. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. well, hey. Bo's just got I'll a hole a in first. his body. Uh, um, all right. Well, I'll heal myself. Uh, but a but a boom. Uh, uh, that, yeah. That you, near school, man. You knit together the hole in yourself somewhat and give yourself eight healing. Sooner you can see that. Um, Aura is poisoned by something and it's probably paralyzed her. She's probably like conscious and awake. Like her eyes are probably streaming with like water. And... Oh, this oh, this isn't good. Oh no. Oh yeah, no. There's like yeah, sand on her that. lips. Oh, it looks like it, it might be infected. And oh no, I think she's totally aware. Can you hear me? Can you blink? Can you blink if you can hear me? I think she's paralyzed. You can wiggle a toe inside a boot, but they don't see that, I assume. Well, I, I don't, I don't rightly know. I'd like to try to, can I use my herbs and try to heal her or try to make something that can unparalyze her ass or at least stave off the poison? Yeah, I have you a question. can. Uh, do you have a, one of those kits? I what do. What was your it's question? My question was, wouldn't I be someone kind of familiar with poison, having dabbled in poison myself, having a poisoner's kit? And wouldn't I be like... If 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 soon as like oh well obviously something's wrong she's been poisoned can I be like well then perception like what should we check? Um yeah I think so but um, I don't know what that would be though so I don't know how to word that. <laughs> yeah I think um, I mean, my, I, it would depend on if you have investigation. <laughs> like yeah, no it's like I one think... of those like if someone's been poisoned as a thief who poisons wouldn't I be like well let's check for the signs then. Yeah, I think you like, know, you know a decent amount about certain types of poison. I think it's probably m more leaning towards the side of like, I know how much ricin will kill the president, as opposed uh, to. Okay, I know how to poison people, but I don't necessarily a, know all yeah. the signs. But I, I, I would say that there is a, a, a degree of um, um, understanding, maybe. But I think really, like a herbalism kit is designed to create poisons, and if you were proficient in that, you'd have a better idea of how to actually make the poison. You're probably yeah. just better at applying poison to things. Oh, I'm better at just, <laughs> and here's people. some in your tea. Yeah, you you, okay. you want to okay, put some mind. poison in the tea and they oh, don't yeah. know it's there, you would roll your poisoner's kit. I think, okay. I can All double right. check it later on. But I mean, um, sooner you're kind of doing this anyway. So give me yeah, a- Yeah, I do, I do have an herbalism kit and I am proficient. So I would like to try to roll. heal her if I can. Yeah, roll roll with your, um, you your do herbalism <laughs> kit see what medicine you can oh, okay do. you can roll with the herbalism kit i think you just have proficiency with it so roll um, um roll a d20 plus your proficiency i think is really all it's supposed to do so the then, sheet does some weird things but can i would i just do medicine then uh if or, that's the same thing but i don't know if it is it probably won't be really it'd be a d20 to... plus two sure Essentially, you're just proficient with this kit. 18. Um, 18. I think, yeah, you, you, you don't know exactly, like, what antitoxin you need. Um. Well, this smells right. I, I think this is about right. And, but you create oh, luckily an antitoxin that probably comes from more muscle memory than actual memory. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, this, yeah, it smells right. I probably don't yes. know what I'm doing, but it's until I get the right smell of it. Oh, that's atrocious. Yeah, that, a, that'll do it. There's a like a, a very minor flashback of a very young Suna treating this exact wound <laughs> before. Yeah. And then you, you flash forward again and you've created this antitoxin. It takes maybe, um, maybe 10 minutes or so to do. In that time, you can wiggle another toe. Your, it's it is slowly wearing off. They don't know that, but it's going to take a while. Um, and then you create this antitoxin. What do you think it is? Yeah. What have you um, used? It's going to be. It's. I crushed up a bunch of things, and it's going to be like a cream that I'm going to rub onto the wound, uh, and then I'll squeeze. Kind of. Where did you get hit? Where did she get hit? It bit the. It kind of bit her like a, a rag doll, so it's like her uh, waist. Like on her stomach, on her waist? Okay, yeah. then I'm I'm definitely rubbing that all over her waist, and I'm actually probably squeezing a bit to kind of get the pus to come out, and then I'm just nice. really kind of putting putting the uh, the cream all in there and letting it letting it really soak it up in there, in the wound. It probably is a bit painful, but... Um, well, yeah, this is, I you know, I might not remember exactly what the ingredients are, and exactly how much but this smells exactly right this should help right um yeah i think it does give me another constitution save but this time you have an advantage okay <laughs> 14 uh is enough you i think over the next few minutes feeling starts to return to the extremities your fingers your toes uh your nose um you get like a lot of pins and needles feeling and your lips are very numb but you start to be able to speak a bit and then piece by piece over oh. the next five to ten minutes you return you're probably Look in a horrendous amount color. of pain probably feel like shit probably got a mouthful of sand um but yeah you slowly return to sort of consciousness um, I'd like to investigate these these this area to see if there's any um, just anything, anything. Okay. In, in particular to like thieves, but uh, any symbols or anything anywhere? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I I'm I don't know. I've never been here, so. Yeah, you're like wandering around while uh, while these yeah, guys are tending. I'm wandering to... around the area in the shade, just like man, why is it so fucking hot? Yeah, give me an investigation check. <laughs> what is with these rolls? And I nine. got a nine. Uh, no. You used them all last week. Um, no, I mean, you found the the sign, which doesn't have anything other than a name on it, um, and looks <laughs> old as hell. Hot, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it just looks like a... just a wasteland out there. It's just a desert. You, you can still... You're still near the tracks, like, they're pretty nearby. Um... But yeah, you wander around for a while. There's really not much out here at all. Um, yeah. Oh, look, color. She's color's returning to her face. Aura, can you hear me? I haven't. Oh, oh she's that's, looking that's, parched. That's good. That's good. But, but, but what happened? We need to well, get her something to drink. Ow. Ow. How do, are you thirsty? I start sitting up. Okay, but, but careful. Be very, but, very oh, careful. Are you all right? Yeah, you, well, I mean, we're working on that, but how, how do you feel? Are you all right? I feel like shit. You want some water? All right, I'll try and find some cacti that, that don't give the the white milkies. Yeah, that might be a good I, idea. Be I, very I, careful I, though, I, and I, don't, I, don't, I, don't go I, too far. I have white milky in my stomach. Yeah, that's the, that's the salve I made for you. It's okay, just, just don't, don't eat it or anything. I... <sighs> I just kind of like slump against a rock or something on the ground and just like yeah. my face is swollen. Yeah, you're you're, you're gonna be all right. Okay. Here, let me get that for you. And you're just drooling a little bit. There, there oh, you sorry. go. All right, you're all right. You're all right. Did you kill it? Uh, no, we ran away. Um, but I I think it's safe to say this is probably similar to uh, what that uh, cactus would have done to you. So you can oh. uh, say that you've tried it now. Yeah, is it the same? If uh, for pain. I don't think you have pain, but you know the whole face going numb and the drooling—that's yeah. that's pretty accurate, I'd say. I take out my vial and I'm like, "She should try it then." Oh, oh no, okay. that's not a good idea. No, I not, start not reaching that. for it. 
Uh, let's try and find water. That's out of range where I'm like, Oh, oh that I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah. This is probably not a good idea for you to try now. Maybe just rest. No, I'm gonna go out, find some water. Uh, nope, we probably I, I, don't, no, I don't think you should do that. We shouldn't separate. There could be a spider out there and, you know, I'm all for people dying, but I don't, this is not the right time. Oh, you must be the death card. I should have known that actually, really, now that I'm I look at her, I'm like, thinking about it. The, the, what? The, the death card, it's it's really quite obvious now. I mean. <sighs> I'll take anyway. that as a compliment. Yeah, it is It is a compliment. But you, like, and I point to I Bobo, think... and I'm like, you shouldn't go out. Mm, nope, not right now. We're not gonna separate. The spiders. Mm hmm What we should do is try to find, to see if that dune place is a place that we could actually uh, get some water, maybe get some rest, and uh, get any kind of medicine for, and I point to Kate, uh, Katie's character. I can't remember. <laughs> Aura. Aura. My bad, sorry. Uh, well, or can, can you walk? Can, can we, are you okay to move, do you think? I'll try. I mean, can I, can I walk? Yeah. The shoulder's yeah. always available for you to lean on. And I mean, I have a walking stick. You're welcome to use it. No, it's for you. Oh, I'm so much okay. more comfortable. Like a toddler, I'm gonna like fall over and like oh oh swat oh. up in the air and then okay. like push what? myself up. <laughs> How about you just go ahead and use this? Just put two hands right on the stick and you. Okay. There you go. There you go. And you just let me know when you don't need it anymore, and then I'll take it back. How's that sound? Walk away. I'm like, well, the good news is she has a stick, and not sooner. <laughs> just a small jab. Aha! Uh -huh. Pun. Anyway. I'm just. I, probably, I, won't, like, I won't. I won't do it again. I'm just gonna <laughs> lean on the stick and like, kind of cross-eyed look at all of them one by one. Just <laughs> <laughs> not do it. Your eyes are like. Mwah. Now that our not tank is out of commission, I guess I lead the way. So. All right, and you guys are just gonna continue on <laughs> heading west towards towards uh, this uh, city, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, towards Trent, uh, Thin Dune. I don't know if you know where that is, though, do you? It, the sign. Did it not point, like, in a direct? I thought, I, I pictured it as a sign that, like, had, a, like, an arrow thing. <laughs> I thought it was, like, bar half buried, though. Like, it's not really... Yeah. <gasps> no, it yeah, didn't. It like, doesn't have an arrow thing. on it, and it's not in, like, the shape of an arrow. It's just a wooden thing that yeah. says Thin Dune on it. What if this was like once a, thin dune? Yeah, like a town maybe used to be yeah, here, but it be. isn't anymore. Yeah, I think it's more like that. Just keep walking. It doesn't matter. There's nothing here. I don't see right. anything here. Well, we want to still follow the tracks and keep. Can I turn inside. around? I'm like, do any of you see anything here? Because I have a lot of sand in my eye right now. So, well, I, I mean, look around. Very. <laughs> okay, she doesn't see anything here. But does anyone else see anything here? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is pretty bright and i haven't been here in a very long time so I, it, it is quite hard to see today you can give me perception checks Those i did well for me on um for me can i do one yeah. brad yeah she's oh, oh bobo babo babo <laughs> bobo that's your new name babo babo, babo. i love it um hashtag babo <laughs> um oh roll me a d20 me? Bobo, Bebo. Okay. I swear to God, if there's another fucking spider, Brad. There might be. <laughs> Don't roll a one. It was just slow. <laughs> oh, God. It found you. No, you're good. I mean, it does know what well, you might uh, not be good. We'll see what, like. what this D20 gives you. That's um, what I got. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I hate. No. Hey, Bo. That sounded sort of like a good oh my god, like maybe no. we're going to be lucky, so let's just hope that's the case. No! You guys <laughs> um, maybe begin to head towards the tracks again, um, <gasps> and you feel a strange crunch underfoot, hey, Bo. Oh. Nope. Um, oh, looking no. down, yeah. you see a, a very kind of ornate thing. Um, maybe if you reach down and hook it up on a finger, you can see that it's a bracelet that seems to be oh. carved from a very light looking wood. Um, it looks shiny. And uh, yeah, it's just like patterny. It's just like a little wood um, link bracelet um, with a little tie on the end. 
Well, I'm gonna just try and get this and slide it in my pocket. Wait, what? 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 Uh, get what? Of course, we all see uh, it. Oh, <laughs> oh, the, hmm, maybe I shouldn't touch it. Touch I walk what? up and I grab what it out of his about? hands. Oh, well, I look at it. What is? What am I looking at? It's like a trinket. Does it have anything on it? It's just got like weird little patterns in on each of weird the links. Um, uh, well, you should probably just put it in a bag, and then we'll we'll have somebody actually, look at it when we get to town. I walk up to Suna, I put it in her face, and I'm like, "Aren't you from here? Shouldn't you know what this is?" Yeah, well, I mean, I don't recognize it. I don't think. What? I we could have went to the elf land, where I'm kind of an elf, and I point to my ears that aren't visible beyond my hair, <laughs> and I'm like. But instead, we came here, and you don't even know it. What does this mean? It lo- it could be a friendship bracelet, for all I know. I mean, investigation you don't know check. everything about your lands, do you? I mean, I'm from here, but that doesn't mean I know everything. I just put it in a bag, and when we get to town, we'll have somebody who knows things look at it and tell us what it is. It's just a ship <sighs> bracelet, as far as you can tell, on a two. Yeah, it's just, it's not. I mean, look at that weaving; it's terrible. Just put it's it in an the old bag. Wood we, bracelet. Uh, lucky we'll get. <laughs> like, I like from go it. back to Bobo and I slam it against his chest. I'm like, it's yours. you can have it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like maybe four copper, if that, if we're lucky. But just maybe put it, maybe put it in in your bag. I'll hold on to it. It's a good eye, but next time maybe look for green instead of brown and wooden, you know? We're looking for water and cacti. Do you hold on to it or do you put it in your bag? I'm I'm, I'm putting it in my bag. Okay. And you guys probably start heading out again across uh, across the train tracks, following the train tracks along. So... Everyone give me another set of those uh, rolls, depending on whether you want to scout or forage. Can we do both or no? You can do one each. I can do a snare. So scout is perception to keep an eye out for spiders, and forage is survival to um. Oh my God, it's funny. Uh, to pick. For scouting. Twenty for I'm gonna scout. scout okay. Two, because yep. I, I, I probably can't see straight, so I'm just trying to be helpful. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you guys. Um, maybe lead the way, or maybe one of you um, takes point and the other one kind of keeping an eye behind you, check there's no spiders running up after you, and um, there isn't. Uh, there's no spiders. <laughs> you, uh... Can I just say that this hits very close to home because right now I have to call pest control because I have a spider problem, so this is... Oh really my god, send right them now. to my house. We have spider oh. problem as well. It's the worst. I'm very triggered. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I was sitting on my sofa the other day on no, my please. sofa no, and a giant stop. thing was walking across the sofa towards... What are you doing? <laughs> I was always told they don't go... All right, well, no spiders. This one... Whatever happened to it, it doesn't appear Would to be Would you like you. the scariest story of all time about spiders, or should yes. I refrain? Okay, so you know how you everyone's always like, they'll never actually come up from the toilet? Nope, I don't, nope, I don't want to know this. <laughs> they don't! Okay, that's all I'll say uh, then. No! Okay. Toilet spider. Okay, um, now every time your characters go for uh, PP or poo-poo, in the game, you have to roll for you. toilet spider. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so you guys start heading out. And, um, yeah, you see nothing. Um, and in, in the sense that you can be sure that nothing is coming for you, you're checking areas of ground that might seem a little unstable and might have a giant spider under it. Um, and now, you're... when we were kids, we used to ride the sand dunes, you know, like slide down. It was fun. Like Give sometimes a when check. a storm would... Sometimes when a storm would come, <laughs> I'm just literally talking your ear off. You could just say anything she Bye. wanted, and we're like, uh huh. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much what's probably happening right now. <laughs> so and, just uh, before a storm would come, it would pick it up, and then we'd just ride right down onto the bottom. Give me another history check. Oh no, are you gonna get us killed by spider yeah. again? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Thirteen. Um, it's up to you. Do you want to remember something? Yes, I would love to. You have a oh, list wait. of you have a list of buzz- buzzwords. <laughs> you hit two of them in the whole thing. Right, what? Okay, never mind. I was going to ask something, but it's fine. Okay, yes, I would ask like it. to remember. Can ask the thing. Is it? Will I lose thoughts of the pearl? Will Will the pearl become less clear if I accept this other memory? No. Okay, then yes, I would like to remember. You're something. just in dust veil, so I'm giving you the benefit okay. of the yeah. dust. Yeah. Um. 
I think you you remember you know actually no because your buzzword was that so you remember remember Simba who you are you do um you recall you are my son <laughs> uh you recall s something about the the tale um as you're recalling the tale of these dunes and the and the tale of uh a uh, sandstorm you is anyone holding the sign or did you leave it did you bring the sign i wouldn't have i can't really... i think we left it it's pretty yeah, big i, I doubt you would yeah. you yeah. recall the 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 sign and you recall um where thin dune was um the rumor is that it was just this flourishing market town once long long ago and it was destroyed in a terrible sandstorm. Um, and that it's about as far northeast okay. as it goes. So as I'm telling this story about, you know, oh, we're, we're, we're riding, we would just ride down onto the bottom. And I think, oh, wait a minute. I, oh yes, I think I remember. We're in the Northeast. A storm came. I do remember this town. I do remember this town. A long, long time ago, a storm came and took it and everyone in it. I know where we are. Well, then isn't it a bad thing? What if that same storm comes and gobbles us up? Well, I mean, it's possible, but I doubt it would be the same storm. But if we're all the way in the northeast, we could, we could head to the northwest, and I would know where where I am. I, I, I my, we trekked all the way along the west coast, and there's water in the west. Well, about my bottom, what are we waiting for? That sounds good. And I pick up, I grab my sword at this point, and I'm doing a walking stick and my sword <laughs> when I'm walking. Sure. I'm just, you guys, yeah. You guys continue heading to the um, to the west, and I think um, I think with your rolls, you don't find any cactus. You don't find what? any. Oh, no any... one rolled for foraging though. Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, I yeah. rolled twelve survival, and Bow rolled Bo rolled, uh, yeah. rolled six. Oh, yeah, a natural yeah. one. You don't find anything. Yeah. You don't yeah. find cacti. You don't even see like lizards or insects you know because you you also would technically be foraging for food potentially um so you don't find anything here and um Before i think the, we leave the town i would like pr pray i would like sit down if i know that all these people like got destroyed by the sandstorm i would sit down for a minute and touch the sand and just think and say thank you for telling me where you we are and then i would go ahead and move on who do you pray to just the people. It's not a specific god or anything, but I'm just saying thank you to the people who were here because I feel like they gave that memory to me before moving on. So I would bend down and I would say, I'm sorry this the storm took you and your people, but thank you for mm. guiding the way. Maybe the wind. I'm okay. pray to the wind. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, then you guys head out. And I think, um, are you just walking for as long as you possibly can until midday is that what your um, plan was yeah our plan was to go until midday and then rest in the hottest time of the the day and then probably go for a little bit longer before nightfall yeah okay so i think assuming I think that aura's happens. up for it yeah i think that's what you do um you you safely travel even though it's quite exhausting the heat is unbearable it gets hotter and hotter and hotter until eventually um the sun is starting to reach the apex. It's sitting in the center of the sky. Um, and you decide maybe to to rest. Um, you got a 6 and a 12 on your survivals. So I don't think there's anywhere necessarily... Um, you. I think maybe you start to head into kind of an open, sandy area. You start to hit this kind of plains. Those mesas start to, like, dry up a little bit. Um... What were the perception checks? Ellie, in the in the distance, 
um, you start to see what looks more like a, a canyony mountain range, like as if you could kind of see these huge red bluffs and, and more kind of um, uh, um, Grand Canyon-esque looking rocky landscapes, very, like at the very edge of your, your vision. Um, you're heading towards what looks like a, a mountain range, so it would reduce the sand, but obviously then you're in a kind of canyon. But it's very far away. You, you might make it by nightfall if you were quick. Um, but other than that, I think you're in kind of a sandy plains area. And the train tracks are heading slightly more south now. Um, as you're moving along, you can see that they're actually starting to kind of head away from that mountain range. The mountain range maybe splits um, the the landscape ahead of you and you can see the train tracks start to veer southward as you guys move throughout the day. It comes up towards midday and uh, sooner you had a plan for resting. Oh. <laughs> no? I would oh. say like I'm Not off. Not really, like, but I okay. said I did, yeah. But As we're like resting midday and people are in the shade, I, I'd say I, I go off just slightly and I'm like, I'm like changing into my like common clothes where I'm like, oh my god. This is so leather was not. I'm trying not to peek. Don't. And my youngest son. Don't turn around. Oh, God. And I'm like. Don't worry, we're not like, looking. You're fine. And then that's when I see the. I, I'm like, I'm like naked in the desert. I'm like. Oh. I, that's when I see the mountains. And then I'm like. Guys, did you see the mountains over there? What? And then, and then I like. Bo! Don't look. Oh, oh, sorry. You said mountains! And then I like. Yes, go I think she like meant the range. Up. Oh, she wasn't talking about her mountains? No. <laughs> she meant the actual physical mountain range. But nice try. And I just keep getting dressed as like in my common clothes. And so I'm like, oh, this is too hot. It's just, I hate this place. It's worse. Um, I think probably once she points it out and you guys focus, if your eyes aren't bad, um, you can start to make out the the landscape ahead of you changing into a kind of more mountainous rocky terrain um everyone roll me con saves oh boy and this is your do you have heat stroke or not con <laughs> save yes you do ellie <laughs> no you don't Bo. oh wait yes you do that's got uh that was with advantage do you have advantage no you can't have advantage um Sooner, you do not. And Aura, you do. So everyone but Sooner, you have heat stroke. Um, this works. Um, Why very... do you think I'm naked in the desert? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're it's just not a burning uh, man here. Okay. Your burning woman. Your um, you guys are uh, feeling very rough now. I think the um, the sand, the heat, the exhaustion of being attacked and and the energy expended from that um the run and stuff like that the general i think you guys are probably starting to work through your singular water skins that you have on you um these are probably going to last you till the end of the day and then you're going to be in trouble um but it's not doing enough to uh to prevent this heat stroke just being out in the in this desert heat completely unprepared um messes with all uh with three of you and heat stroke basically acts like um, an exhaustion point. Um, however, it, it affects your um, saving throws and your ability scores uh, only. So you have disadvantage on basically everything um, until you clear this. You can clear this by passing your next heat stroke check tomorrow at midday or um some sort of magical bullshit if you've got it um but just bear in mind you have heat stroke i don't know if you want to mark that down somewhere i'll write it down to remember for next time as well um the horrible exhaustion starts to set in as you guys start heading um maybe start heading out again after you've had this rest unless this changes what you're going to do I have a question. Can I do cure wounds on myself? Yeah. 
you can but it doesn't remove conditions it removes it just gives you hp back but yeah you can which do i need so could i just it, all that, right yeah. did we take a rest or are we about to take a rest you're we'll say um we'll say you're, we'll do the short rest now so you guys are taking a short rest or a long rest a short rest is at least an hour where you don't do anything during a short rest you can use hit die um now on your sheet you have uh, in the center it says hit dice you should have three of them because you're level three you can roll those they will give you hp back it's just a, a everyone has a different dice um and that will just give you hp back you have three of them once you've consumed all of them you don't get any more back until you do a long rest when you do a long rest you get half of them back um when uh uh when you do a long rest a lot of you get most of your spells back some of you get them back on a short rest. I think actually all of you get them on a long rest. Is that right? Um, Ranger. Bard. I don't on a short. Yeah, I think I'm so. I'm the only one that doesn't. So in order to bring back your spell slots, you'll need to do a long rest. A long rest is about eight hours where you do nothing. Um, you need to basically be uninterrupted for eight hours. You don't necessarily have to sleep. You can just sit or lay down or relax. Um, but if in that eight hours you do anything particularly strenuous like running or actually fighting something or casting spells and things like that then it will interrupt the long rest and you'll have to start again and you won't be able to do it doing a long rest in the open plains of a desert in the middle of the day is probably going to get you killed i'll be honest but um doing a short rest will allow you to use hit dice so you might want to do that instead of using a precious spell slot you can use your short rest this i'm just following minimum. whatever they're doing because I'm not in any state to make. I just yeah. mean mechanically we'll, we'll instead of using a cure. Yeah, wounds. mechanically we'll short rest now, Katie, and then you can use a hit die, and then during we'll do a long rest at night when we yeah. can bury ourselves. Your in the spell sand. slots are going to be more precious to you than those hit die. Yeah. Okay. So if you so get to do a short rest, you can heal with the hit dice, and you can use all three of them, or you can use one. Uh, you can roll and see how much you get, and use them all. Um, okay, I'll just do one. Yeah. So right anyone now. who's who's low on HP or wants to wants to bump up the uh your hp you can spend one of those hit die now to recover some hit points um the short rest you get anything back on your short rest so for example um aura has the god portal thing if you had used that and used your sonar and found it you would get that back now all of your stuff will come back on short rest if it says it comes back on a short rest um or long rest there's no point in us going through them it'll be on your sheet somewhere I think the rogue you just are always just going. I don't think you have short rest stuff and spells and things, so you're just whatever. But what if I'm off guard because now I'm half naked in the desert because it's too fucking hot and I'm exhausted and I'm like, I need to fucking rest. Well, you or is still, it like one of those, like, yeah. I'm, tr I'm kind of trained to, like, at least fake it till I make it in this situation? You can still short rest. Yeah, you, you still you can still do a short rest. You're still doing it regardless because everyone yeah. else is and you're not doing anything strenuous. So you'll be able to do the hit die. What I mean is you don't recover it. I don't think you have any abilities that recover on rests. I think you just have them all. You have like sneak attack and things like that. Yeah, those things don't expend themselves is what he's saying. So you can rest, but you don't need to worry about uh, resting to get abilities like they, back. They have an economy to yeah. worry about with their spells yeah. and, and yeah. when they can recover them and oh. things. So I can recover HP, but they recover spells too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I got an A. I don't know what that means. Uh, you get eight HP back. You heal for eight, and I need to do. yeah, there you go. You're at full HP. Um, if you guys don't rest for like a really long time, if you're if we're in game and you just keep going for like three days, four days, week you don't rest or anything you'll start to pick up exhaustion points i kind of there's no real mechanics to it i just have to feel it out if you guys were just we keep going we never sleep we go over there we do this um you'll get exhaustion points and exhaustion is a whole other thing there are six of them one is like kind of what you got now where you you lose you get disadvantage on a lot of abilities then you start to slow down then you lose a bit of hp blah blah blah, blah, blah. then you die on number six um those you probably will need to worry about in this campaign because it's a race speaking of the race while you guys are resting in the middle of the desert um heading west way back at the god portal not even that way back is it really but back at the 
god portal, um, I think the rest of us see this strange um, scene where this um, this god portal activates again. There isn't again like like a weird um, there isn't like a weird opening of like a like a Doctor Strange portal thing. Um, we just see this creature appear once again. The um, ghostly figure symbol. Apparently completely rebuilt. It looks exactly the same as when you guys first fought it. Before you chopped half its head off. Before it had all of its shadow and smoke removed. Um, it appears uh, the same way you did. An inch, two inches off the ground. And it kind of just lands. Its head snaps up. It turns to the east. And just starts moving robotically towards the east. And that is where we're going to end today's session. You guys had a head start. Go! On it. And uh, yeah, you'll have general head starts on it when you defeat him. And you'll slow him down every time you encounter him. But then, you got to go the right way. So. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, we went west, didn't we? So, you guys went west. Yep. It went yeah. east. Yeah. Um, because you guys are here, you know, as soon as like, let's go have tea in the west where I'm from. But you're supposed to be going to the gate of time. And, you know, you don't know where that is, but that's fine. That's where we are. We'll we need to, to find see... the village first and steal all their water. Thank you very much. Me and Bobo got that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys having a rest, heading west at this break point. We'll come back in next week and see what you do. Rough first episode, really, because that this is the first episode. The last one was just the Intro. cut scene. The cut scene, yeah. The tutorial, uh, the tutorial yeah. fight. You threw a boss fight. That's like this is Dark Souls tutorial then, where I died eight times. <laughs> you got hurt in it, but it oh, was. Oh, you beat it. It was, uh, yeah. It was <laughs> like it was kind of like it, it. There was no way it could kill you. Um, was really what I mean. But yeah, this horrible thing that you encountered today was terrible the very worst possible we thing ran. genuinely the worst thing on my list um on my worst list if i have I two lists handed, i was waiting to see what suna did because if suna <laughs> didn't do anything i was gonna be like bye you, i'm out <laughs> oh wow yeah. <laughs> i mean i'm a rogue like what what can we do best run Pockets like me, she just plays. She's like, the character would do this, and that means everyone's this gonna is die. What I would do if I were a rogue that killed people for a living. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Survivor. It makes sense. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if she abandons the party next week. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't do it this week. week. They have no reason to suspect that. <laughs> when that spider comes back, uh, she's like, nah, not again. <laughs> I'm out. I'm going north. I'm just um, not rolling next week. How's that? <laughs> Well, in th technically, you have one week where it was nothing but crits, and one week where it wasn't great. So maybe next, next week will be crits. Once we entered combat, I did okay. Yeah, but it couple. was like it was. It was literally. What do you see? Nothing. What is it? Everything. Yeah. You. <laughs> what you should have seen was the giant spider under the sand that you missed. Yeah. Um. You have one job. All right. Well, we'll see next week what the uh, what the roles are like. Um. And uh, before then, you guys can go and see all of these wonderful people on their varying Twitch channels um, and whatever they do during the week. We'll do a quick round of shout outs to see um, where people are. Let's start with the rogue, since she's probably going to quit next week as she runs another direction. I'm Pocket. not going to quit. All right. Well. I'll be the one that survives. Everyone place your bets. And we'll... <laughs> well, I mean, you all have heat stroke, and I'm okay. So <laughs> That's true, I yeah. think I have. You're I naked and I wandering around now in the yeah. desert. <laughs> You're naked. <laughs> Can I just throw this out there? Um, who suggested we go to the Mistlands? The Rogue. Yeah. Uh, why did we go to Dus uh, Dusville? Because someone knew Dusville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah. I'm just out there. I also was relying on the fact that Suna knew Dustman. She was like, I never heard of Finn Doom. Let's keep going the wrong way. Yeah. I was like, oh no. A whole campaign hinged on that. I <laughs> like, looked. I didn't see it on the map. That's why. Because I looked and I was like, oh, I don't see it. So I guess uh, I don't know what it yeah, is. I yeah. guess it's a town oh, it's, that doesn't exist anymore. But I saw it the second time I looked. It I very like, oh, much shit. exists. Yeah. It's yeah. called uh, 
and the, tra the you can well, pick thin, up the train June, there, right? The new Thin June. Thin June was, <laughs> thin June was destroyed, uh, but new Thin yeah. June is uh, is there. Is there? Um, I want to thank Katie, our unofficial tank of the day. Yes. Um, for actually, sort of is the tank as well, actually, in yeah. terms of the party she, makeup. I, I feel like she's a DPS tank, though, where it's like, yeah. you're kind of a tank, but you're also a DPS. So yeah. you're like, you're not as tanky as a tank could be, yeah. but you're pretty good. He's gone for uh, the classic I, Although I will Ranger say, me and, Suna, me and Suna tanked the shit out of that first fight. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't really do anything. I, d I literally did one damage with my witch bolt. That was all I did, other than bop no, it I'm on the head. Like we tanked it as, and we took those first you two were hits. Taking all the hits. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. Suna took the first hit was, in this. Yeah. Everyone yeah. got hit, I think, apart from you in this one. Um, I, I really yeah. like, I would like to point out that Brad keeps pointing out how well I did in the first round, but he's gotten 20s every single time, every single episode so far, okay. so. That's true. I normally roll real bad. To be honest, I um, when it you matters, I roll that. bad usually. That's, <laughs> that seems to be that. my rule. We'll <laughs> see. I don't know. Well, where 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 can people find you during the week? Pocket, uh, what are you doing? Twitch.tv slash pocket p o k k e t and same on Twitter and pocket official on Instagram. I stream every day but Monday, so tomorrow's my day off. Same. Um, yeah. on Twitch.tv <laughs> slash pocket. Um, yeah. what about you, Disby Arix? Oh, uh, you can find me here on twitch.tv slash disbiarix and I do a bunch of like roleplay stuff aside uh, aside from uh, variety games. I do like to jump into horror games. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. You can go over there. Um, and uh, you do dress like that all week, right? Oh, yes, of course. This is just genuinely how she looks. Like. Everyone's like, oh, look yes. at that fake beard and hair. And I'm like, why do they keep saying that? Weird. <laughs> Um, all right, we'll go and check her out. What about you, Katie Peters Plays? What are you doing this week? Thanks for saving me, everybody. <laughs> Coming back for me and not letting the spider you imagine if me. they had just left you? Like, how awful I, I that would, would have been? Ready. They just mistook you ready. for being dead? Because I was I, like, oh, what if they did that? I was thinking <laughs> that on the break. I was ready. I was ready to be, like, planning this character. I was like, is she die? I was actually, like, on our break. I was like, well, this is... I had a little exen like existential crisis when I went to the bathroom, and then I was like, "It's fine. I can make someone new." Um, <laughs> I'll just hate them. <laughs> That's... I'll just make somebody new. It's fine. Um, <laughs> what happened to me with fucking August Alliance? I was yeah. so yeah. traumatized. Yeah. Brad did tell me when we were making my character. He's like, "You're gonna die," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, he said that to me too. Like, "Oh, your constitution. Look at your hit points. You don't yeah. die." Well, oh, you were oh, yeah. you were like, I want to be a melee ranger, and I was like, oh, it's not oh, gonna no. be. You want to know what Brad told me? Oh my god, you're a fucking god! What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you... he told everybody after you rolled. I think he copy he took the picture screenshot of your rolls and sent it to all of us, and was like, well, you'll be fine, maybe a little bit. Well, in theory, she can kill absolutely everything I throw yeah. in front of her single-handedly yeah. because. She rolled unbelievably well. If I keep running and keep my distance, I might survive. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Fingers crossed. You've been hit by two rough starts to battles where you're just like right next to the thing, like, ah, but if you actually get the drop on stuff, you're pretty unbelievably broken, really. Um, so if you could just make someone else fail next time, that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you, PB, what are you doing this week? Um, hello, hi, I'm Pumpkinberry, and uh, I played Suuna for you today. Um, you can find me at twitch.tv slash pumpkinberry or Twitter at the same handle. I do a whole bunch of stuff here on Table Story as well. Wednesdays, I GM Nocturne. Um, I'm also here for ZBO and a whole bunch of other shows, and I feel terrible because I never shout out ZBO when I'm like, come see Nocturne. Um, but yeah, that's me. That's what I do. I do some stuff over on my channel, and I do lots of stuff here, so... Thanks for hanging out. All right. Yeah. ZBO is Zero Blue Orion. And that's yeah. on tomorrow, which is Mondays. And that is like a Gundam mecha anime type. Anime as thing. fuck. It's I wish so I was good. in that. Um, I'd love to be in that one, but I'm not. Yeah, there's, it's um, too bad. There's a green haired dude who looks like me that's in it. And he's super hot and cool. So pretty much like Spike, just like a total rip off of that character. Like a no one rip would actually off of do that. Spike. You know, I haven't seen Cowboy Bebop, and everyone's like, "You're just ripped off Spike Spiegel." And I'm like, I don't even know who that is. And you can't, you can't, you can't lie to me. You can't make. All right. Well, we'll see next week what y'all do. <laughs> Remember to uh, follow here. Follow all of these wonderful people. I don't have a Twitch channel. Don't worry about me. Just 
follow all these guys and uh we have uh shows monday wednesday thursday friday and sunday should I, now should i pull a card for next week's episode should we see what we get yes okay force uh, da, 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 da. Um, you probably are going to have to use the force next week. <laughs> it's really going <laughs> to. You just. You're, I'll Oof. be on from a DM's perspective. You're not in a good place. So yeah. <laughs> well, it's, 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 yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, who knows? We'll probably die. Probably. All right. Well, I'll find out next time. I Thanks for die. watching, everyone. And, Bye. Uh, yeah, actually, Pocket won't die, but the rest of you will. All right. No, I'm saying I hope not, because it's a good party. I like this party, actually. It's a good party. We have good characters. <laughs> yeah, we will all miss them. All right, F's in the chat. Peace out. Bye, everyone. See you. Ta-ta. This thing is broken and doesn't work. There it is. Bye. <laughs>